All right, y'all, right from the top, Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Minnesota Timberwolves last night in impressive fashion. Joel Embiid had 51 points, but that's not what we're going to start with. I want to start by talking about his trusty and reliable sidekick, Tyrese Maxey, scoring 35 last night and basically showing everybody that he's the next upcoming star in the NBA. Chilltown, is he the final piece to the process? Is the process complete? The process won't be complete until they win it. That's when the process is complete. And the process won't be complete until Joel Embiid actually competes at a high level in the postseason. That's when the process will be complete. Just because Tyrese Maxey is doing what Tyrese Maxey is doing, it looks great in the regular season. But we all care about the regular season, but we care about the postseason even more. And I care about the postseason even more. I care about the regular season, but I care about the postseason even more. And a guy like Tyrese Maxey, who now he has the basketball, I haven't seen him yet in the postseason as the premier lead guard. He's been playing alongside James Harden. Now he's in a position where they've given him the basketball and he's got to perform in the postseason. Now, Mars has said to me a couple of weeks ago that he's not really impressed with Tyrese's, Tyrese Maxey's ability to shot create. Well, I beg to differ slightly because I think you can run pick and roll action, especially in the meat and potatoes of games. And I think that they could continue to play fast. And what they did with Minnesota last night really showed how they could score late in games, which is going to Joel Embiid, not just going to Joel Embiid, continuing to get Maxey the ball and continuing to get him to go downhill. Having a guy lined up in front of you one-on-one, -on -one, that happens only in certain situations, but that's not the way the Philadelphia's offense is. I think they go to Joel Embiid late in games, but they get the ball to Maxey going downhill as much as possible. So is he the final piece? Well, if they win the NBA championship or get past the second round, we can say that they've advanced. We can say that they've advanced, but we don't know yet. I mean, I, I don't know yet. Okay, so you say a championship, Chill. Uh, does anybody else up here believe that? Let's say they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Is the process now finished? The process been finished. They just failed. Oh, so the process is cooked. Yeah, the process failed. I mean. They can still win. It doesn't mean the process worked. So the process was over when Ben Simmons left. So everything since then has just been a different team. Just because Embiid's there doesn't mean it's still the process. No, the process was over. They're now building a new team. And um, maybe they can win with it. Maybe they can't. But this isn't the process because Nolan's now part of the process gone. Chile Okafor gone. Michael Fultz gone. Ben Simmons gone. The process is gone. The only one who's still standing is Embiid. This isn't. This is a different team. It's like saying the Warriors dynasty is is the same thing, but Steph, Clay, and Dre are gone because it's still the Golden State Warriors. No, it's it's a different team. They if they win, it's not. It's just a different team in the same uniform. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. With so, Joel Embiid being there, though, Mars, would he would the process still be going on because he's there? Like if Joel Embiid was gone, I may be able to get with your logic, but because the fact that he's there, would that still mean that the process is still going on just off the strip that he was a he was the beginning of the process and that fact that he's still there would the process still be going on no because he's the only person still there the process wasn't one man he sure he might be the longest lasting process member but he's gone into the new era that's what he he lasted beyond the process is how i'm viewing it he was mm. so good that when the process failed, they still kept him because they knew they could go into the second era of Philadelphia basketball with him. So he's now in this new era, which I don't know what the name of it is. Um, so I don't have a name for it, but he's in the new era with the Sixers. But the process died in 2021. What exactly uh, was the process, Mars? Since we're on that subject, what what was the process? Um tank to get high draft picks and use those high draft picks to win a championship. Right. So they got number three pick with Embiid, six with Nerlens Noel, I believe, mm -hmm. three with Jalil Okafor, one with Ben Simmons, one with Michael Fultz. Mm -hmm. I think Michael Carl Williams was like the ninth pick. Right. Um, the process technically started with guys like Evan Turner, but officially was like um, 2013, 
13 ish. So every one of those guys other than Embiid is gone. So they don't, everything they did, the process came to nothing really. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to say the players they traded them for, but I mean, I think Jalil just left. Nolan's Noel didn't get you anything. Um, ben Simmons got you James Harden, but then he left for nothing basically. Um, yeah, this is just a different team. That's how I'm viewing it. It's just a different team. But it's a good team. Just a different team. Mars, at, at the worst, because I still believe it's the process. As long as Joel mm-hmm. Embiid's there and as long as they're still building a team around him to win a championship, I believe it's the process. But I do understand what you're saying. At the worst, I'm willing to call it the process 2.0. And, okay. and I think Maxi. Maxi is a big reason why the process is still processing. Like if if they were, if it was looking like this team was a playing team right now after James Harden left and it was looking like there was just no promise, I would be willing to say, okay, the process is over. The fact that they did what they did last night, Maxi is showing that he's one of the better guards in the league. Joel Embiid is a legit MVP candidate back to back and Might be time to start having to be conversations. It's been hey. time. What? It's been time for a year. It's been time. And B's what? good. What conversation do we need to have? And B's it's, very good. It's, it's, it's time to start having conversations. Like serious, serious and B oh. conversations. What conversations? Conversations. There's not five. You, that, there's not you, five you, people better than Embiid at basketball. But I think most people agree with that. And if you don't agree with that, then I think you. Yeah, you that's like crazy. Me. I, I, think, I think you dislike him if you I, think there's five people better than him. Mars, I don't know if there's three people better than him. I don't know if there's two people better than him. That's that's conversations I'm there's talking genuinely, about. <clears throat> there's generally probably only one person better than him. Do y'all dudes not care about the postseason, man? What's wrong with y'all? He's Kill. injured. It's not like he can't that's play. That's a problem, Mars. But Why we're not talking about how talking? good he is. We're not talking about his go. ability to not break his face. We're talking and, about how good he is at the game of basketball. If the only right? issue you have with his ability to play the game of basketball is that he gets hurt, then Man, clearly you Mars, agree with how good he is. I do. I think he's fantastic. But the fact that you break down, that matters, man. He doesn't break That's down. He, he still plays. He's, he's still, still playing in the playoffs. Him. He's still playing in the playoffs. He and did the whole... exact thing that we play, we praise players for doing. He got hurt, an injury that most people wouldn't play through. He played through it. And then we criticize him for not playing good enough. That doesn't make sense to me. Every time a player sits out with an injury, we then say, why are you not playing? Especially if it's the playoffs. And B has injuries that would put anyone out for the playoff series. He right. plays on them. And then we say, and B, you're not playing good enough. You fold in the playoffs. What do you want him to do? I want him to be healthy in the playoffs. And I want him to perform. <laughs> not, not only do I want him to be healthy in the playoffs, the, 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 him breaking his face. Okay, Mars, there's really not much you can do about that. He got bold in the face. There's nothing much you can do about that. What I want to see is I want to see what I see in the regular season. I want to see that translate to the postseason. And the reason why I want to see that is because the great ones that we talk about in the game today, it translates. Miles, I don't expect the dude to be 40, 50 a game in the postseason. But what I expect him to be is I expect him to be dominant in the postseason like he is in January. I expect him to be healthy in the postseason like he is in February. I don't expect him to play with a torn meniscus. If he can't go, then he can't go. Now, a guy who can go, got, right, guys yeah. who play through injury, I, I applaud that absolutely, but I'm not going to criticize you if it's something that you shouldn't be playing on. If a guy is playing on a partially torn ACL, I'm not going to do that. If you shouldn't be playing, Mars, you shouldn't be playing. I'm not going to fight that. You and I have had this conversation, Mars. Don't look, don't look at me like that. You and I have had this conversation. Knick-knack injuries. Knick-knack injuries. Knick-knack injuries, we can get past that. You eight, think eight, what he eight. had was a knick-knack injury loss? I'm not saying that. I'm saying oh, a okay. torn meniscus, a, a, a torn meniscus, that's a problem. You shouldn't be playing with the torn meniscus. I'm not saying that. What I was criticizing is the fact that he breaks down, Mars. Not the fact that not the fact that he has a torn meniscus. The fact that he breaks down, that's my problem. Because when I'm thinking about the all-time greats, this is when they make, this is when they elevate the legend in the postseason. I think Embiid is fantastic. I want to see him do it when it matters the most because I've already seen him do this. We're talking about we're talking about the reigning league MVP who this is the third year in a row that he's led the league in scoring, 
Who's led the league in scoring for, 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 for more than three seasons? Last guy I remember is Kevin Durant. He's the only guy that I remember who did that in, in, in years past, Re in recent years past. He's the last guy, the last big man to do it, if I remember correctly, to lead the league in scoring multiple seasons. I think that's Chamberlain, now that I'm thinking about it. When I think about a big man, because I don't think it was Shaq didn't do it in multiple years. David Robinson didn't do it in multiple years. Lajuan never led the league in scoring. So I'm thinking about uh, – uh, uh, one more time. Kareem? Jabal led the league in scoring – he didn't do it. Bah, 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 bah. He didn't do oh, it. Like not that. back to back. No, 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 no. He didn't do it. But he did lead the league in scoring years past. I'm thinking about Chamberlain doing it two, three, four years. That's the only guy that I can think of, with the exception of of Kevin Durant, in terms of guys leading the league in in, in scoring multiple years. Really quick, Damo. But when I think about Joel Embiid, what I see now, I'm not. It's impressive. I want to see it translate to the postseason because I want him to turn into who I think he can be. Chill time. Do you not think that these are two conversations that could be had separately? Like, do you not think that we can have a conversation about how great of a player Joel Embiid is when he's healthy? And then in another conversation, say, all right, we still desire to see more in the postseason. Can't those be two separate conversations? No, because we've already had the conversation of how good he is in the regular season. This is not something new that he's doing right now. Because we've seen this is the third year in a row that he's leading the league in scoring. So this isn't new. This isn't like out the blue, I mean, Joel Embiid over the last 12 games, I think he's 37 and 12. I mean, I've seen him put 59 on Utah last season. The year before when Joker won the league MVP, you could very well make the conversation, you could very well make the argument, he should have won the league MVP that year too. You could make that argument. So this isn't new what we're doing. The biggest, all this is doing is now adding postseason. That's all, like, when I see this, I'm thinking to myself, well, why can't he do this in the postseason? Not 37 and 12, but why can't this translate into the postseason? Why can't he stay healthy? Why can't he stay at least – I know everybody's banged up in the postseason, but why can't I get at least 80% of Joel Embiid in the postseason? That's what I'm looking for. And if I get that, Mars, I'm with it. Yeah, Chill. but I thought, we already, I thought we already agreed that the process was over. You know, yeah, on top of that, I know – I know. Yeah, we already agreed upon that. But I'm putting a move on, though. Um, I don't think Joel Embiid's talent is up for question. I think sometimes his drive is up for question. His physicality is up for question. Um, him allowing guards to defend him on the block is criticized, which it should be. Um, I don't I don't think his talent is ever up for question. It's just like he ain't gonna win. Like, is he gonna win? You know what I'm saying? Like that's I think that's where we're at right now. Nobody up here can say that Joel Embiid is not one of the top five most dominant players in the NBA. So there's that. I'm not I'm not gonna even have that conversation with anybody, but like you gotta Right now, it's just get past the get out the second round. That's all. That's all. Yeah, and I don't know. Another, another thing to have. Oh, my fault. Go ahead. No, no. So real, real quick, real quick. Uh, I want to. I want to make the point that we we've already discussed this too. If you play, you're getting criticized like everybody else. If you if you expect if you expect us to give you a pass because you played hurt, I think that's unfair. Like if you're gonna play, if you're gonna get on that court, don't expect us ball. Oh well, you know he 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 did have a tour in this. You know he was this, he was that. Like now you, you don't get that pass if if it's that bad. You got to sit down. And then if they that's sit down, go ahead. I'm not playing. That, that's but okay. Yeah, it, it's a double ended sword. I ain't gonna lie to you. <clears throat> All I was gonna say is I just don't see what conversations need to be had that we haven't already had. I thought it was a consensus that Joel Embiid is hands down the top three basketball player in the NBA, and I thought it was also a consensus that we are still waiting to see that top three players show up in the playoffs. And that's why no one has believed in Philly. I I, I went to look at the numbers to see how bad the, the dive is between the regular season and the postseason. It's a it's a crazy dip. And it's cr and on one hand, I can definitely understand the, the train of thought of, yeah, man, I'm not about to sit here and give you an excuse because you chose to play. But on the other hand, context matters. And mm -hmm. if it's a guy like Kawhi, I can remember Kawhi played two games. Then he sat out two games. And people, oh, no, you couldn't even finish see the series? You couldn't even get out the series? So I, I literally witnessed people on this panel criticize star players for not going when they felt they couldn't go. So I can't – I'm, like, in the middle with it. Like, on one hand, I definitely see it. On the other hand, I'm like, Mars, man, hey, you can't sit here and tell me this guy isn't the upper echelon of basketball player right now because he hasn't performed in the playoffs when you know his meniscus is torn, when you know his face is broken. Like, this isn't – I don't think those are knickknack injuries. I think those are major. A lot of guys want to play through that. Then he's playing through it. The only year he's been healthy in the playoffs was 2020 in the bubble. In the bubble. 
in the bubble. And he but was cook, he was cooking Boston out. Exactly. Anyone who's watched that say he was cooking them. He was great when he was healthy. And that Embiid isn't even close to this Embiid. Because I know 2018, he had another broken face. In 2019, he had knee tendonitis. In 2021, he had a torn meniscus. Tendonitis isn't an injury, though, Marsh. Yeah, it's just something that is difficult to play through. He also had whatever he was going through, whether he was sick with the with his um, stomach, whatever it was. I don't know what it was. But I know he had knee tendonitis in 2019, so that made it difficult for him. 2021, the torn meniscus. 2022, another broken face. He also, I think, had a broken hand or something in his thumb or something. I can't remember that for sure, so someone in the comments can say that. And then lastly, he had an LCL sprain, which they said it was going to make it difficult for him to even change directions on the court. But yeah, he was still playing. And what people see, and the scoring goes down, I get it. Defensively in the playoffs, Embiid is better than he is in the regular season every single time. He's a very good defender in the playoffs. And I get no one wants to, no one cares, cool, because he's not scoring as much. That's not true. I care about that. Oh, I, yeah, I was about, about to say. That. The people, come, the people who I, I don't that. like Embiid, they don't care that his defense levels up in the I playoffs. I care about that. Yes, I Mar, sometimes, Mar, sometimes you got to say, fuck the people. All right, who who cares what they talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like what what Damo was just saying, criticizing Kawhi for not playing through an injury. That shit is done. So if if jo Joel Embiid is a beast for playing through it, but if he doesn't play through it, he has every right to sit in. My bad though. Go ahead. I agree. I'm just if he's only been healthy in the playoffs once, I get saying we want to see him healthy. But then when you look at his injury history in the playoffs, it's not like. I don't want to say injuries can be people's fault sometimes, but I think you can do things to avoid injuries that some people don't do. And Bede's injuries end up being freak injuries that end up happening. And it's like, they would have happened to anyone. It's not like MB doing the wrong thing. Like, if you break your face twice in the play, that's not his fault. That's just what happened to him. So I can't be like, mm, well, Embiid's injury prone. He's doing the wrong things. If he could stay healthy. Like, it, it just so happens to be happening to him. I don't know how I'm meant to blame him for that. And then, yeah, him playing on the tour meniscus, and he was still destroying the Hawks. But I think he just gassed out in the fourth quarters and stuff and didn't play great in those situations. Right. But I, I can't really blame him for his playoff shortcomings when he probably shouldn't even be out there, in my opinion. I I know he he a better man than me because I wouldn't be playing, but. He wants to go play. So, so, so maybe so maybe that's the case then, Mars. I mean, he shouldn't be out there because if you come out there on the floor, I'm assuming that you're ready to go. If you if if you're on the floor. And with that being said, I'm kind of torn with him. I get kind of torn in B with sometimes because you know it took Elijah 10 years to win it. 10 years it took him to do it. It wasn't like it was something where it happened in three or four years. It took him 10 years to do it. And it was stretches where he actually missed the playoffs. And I still felt like and I still felt like he was, if not the best big man in the game, one of the two best big men in the game. But the difference is throughout that throughout that time when it took him to win the NBA championship, he was performing in the postseason. He was doing work in the postseason. Now, yeah, they would run into the Lakers in 91, who were the class of the Western Conference. They ran in, they, they ran into Seattle in 87. I do get that part. But with that being said, I want to see those kind of performances from MB. And I get tired of listening to you know, he was hurt in the postseason. And if you get hurt and it's an injury that you can't play through, that's one thing. And if you're on the floor and it's an injury that you can play through and you're still not performing, that's something else, man. I won't mm -hmm. argue, Damo. I won't argue, Damo, about him being one of the best players in the game. I won't argue that because, I mean, the, the, the proof is in the pudding. He's been that. I don't think that that's – I don't I don't think that's a question. And – him doing what he's doing in the regular season. I don't want to minimize it because I feel like I've always felt like the regular season matters because that's where you that's where you create the legend. And in the postseason is where you elevate the legend. And I feel like him elevating the legend, that's where he's coming up short. Yo, but I, I just I just want to say right quick. I understand you need to play in the postseason and you need to perform in the postseason. All right. Oh, Embiid hasn't had the best postseason resume. He hasn't performed the best in the postseason. Um, his teams haven't advanced as far as other players have. But if we're acknowledging right now, first quarter of the season, Joel Embiid has been the best basketball player in the National Basketball Association. Yes, he has, Damo. Mm -hmm. 35, 12, six assists, playing the defense he has, being available. Joel Embiid has been the best player in basketball. He's been the best scorer. He's mm -hmm. he's if, if we're talking about carrying your team, 
He's put a big load on his back. Pause. He's put a big. <laughs> he's put a big. He's put a big burden of his team on his back and carried them. Focus, far. Mars. Focus, Mars. Focus, <laughs> Damo. We good, Bron. Keep going. He's carrying the load. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> Yeah, Focus, so he's Tom carrying on. the load. Focus. But I'm, I'm saying, like, we're, we're giving uh, Shea props for that. We're giving everybody else props for that. We got to give Joel Embiid his props, too. He is balling. He's playing phenomenal. And right now, I'm saying he's the best player in the Basketball Association. But real quick, though, Ron, let's also, let's also not forget that. And I, I criticize Joel about this quite often, you know, in the past. Um, we haven't really talked about Joel as much this year, and that surprises me. But – Let's not act like let's not let's not act like Joel wasn't coming into the uh, season all out of shape and you know what I'm saying like he wasn't he wasn't What's getting gassed out in March and April. We 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 got to remember that like Joel Joel has not been in peak performance shape uh, from from what from just from what I can see you know what I'm saying I can't in, possibly, in the past. You know, let me ask you this. Let me make me ask you this though, Big Bob. It, would that contribute to him breaking down in the playoffs? Um, Oh, most certainly, most certainly. And I yeah. and I, I I said I said a couple times like maybe maybe you got to change your diet up or something. Maybe you got to do some pool workouts in the off season and during the season. You know that those those type of injury prevention type you know type things. But if you're coming in out of shape and you know what I'm saying overweight or just not you know maybe not maybe skipping leg days and stuff like that. That's a, that's an easy way to hurt yourself if you're playing. 30 plus minutes a game in the NBA, so especially with that size. When you when you're that big, which what I didn't learn until I hurt my knee is that as a as, as when you're a bigger person, the just turning this way is different for than than like for instance. So for Mars and for me, if Mars turns to the left like this and I turn to the left, it's a completely different pressure on your knees just based on the torque. You know what I'm saying? And um, that was just something that I had to talk to whatever you know the foot doctor, those people that whatever they are, I don't know what they're called, but um, so if you're if you're coming in with with you you know when you when you got your your, your uh, quads and stuff if, if you're not if you're not in shape hitting your leg days you don't got that tear drop right there above your knees you know then you can get hurt easily so I think we got to hold Joel accountable for that as well I mean he, he got knickknack injuries maybe because he wasn't in shape you know so so that that's a, that's a thing that's I feel like that's unfair because he came into the game when he was in shape when he was way smaller. He came in with Nick that injury. He came in injury. That's stressful. Like coming coming out of college, he wasn't three hundred something pounds. Come out of college, True. he was in phenomenal shape, and he still had injury problems. He missed the first what two and a half years of his career yeah. because of mm -hmm. lower leg injuries. So he's not. I, I don't want to say oh it's his fault because he's not working out or not staying in shape. He's literally if anybody of this current era has literally been from day one the term injury prone, it's it's Joel and B. He's been that. That that is that has mm. been. It's just how his genetic makeup. His, I don't know if it's his bones. I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know if something happened when he was younger. But for whatever reason, he has just been injured. So I don't think we can point at working out. I don't think we can point at weight like Zion. I don't think we can point at. Um, I mean, you can point at freak injuries and people falling into them or just unfortunate stuff happening. But realistically, Joel B has just been hurt his entire career. Yo, that's I that's get true, Donald. That's I that's true. But you can. But I'm like you can I'm, see. Let's Kawhi has injury history. He's killing right now. Can we just acknowledge when somebody is killing right now? When they yes. are destroying the National Basketball Association? Can we acknowledge it? Kawhi Leonard, hey, at the beginning of the season, he Kawhi Leonard was in the top five conversation. We put him number five on our list. As of right now, Kawhi is in that range. Whether it's five, six, seven, eight, it doesn't matter. He's killing. Yes, he has injury history. Cool. He's killing right now. Joel Embiid, he has injury history. Cool. He's un unanimously a top three player in the National Basketball Association. And nobody I think, can, I nobody think we've acknowledged that, Ron. I, I, think we, I think we're acknowledging mm. that. We're just kind of we're, – we're, um, we're, we're kind of – I'm, 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 I'm yeah, specifically talking about – You guys are saying like Yanni well. Jokic and Luka don't exist. Like, it's not the same. Well, you saying that no, no, Embiid's I'm, the best saying, player like I'm Luka isn't that. playing basketball. No, no, no I'm not saying you are. I'm fine with saying he's clearly a top five player. But, but to top three and it's not a to, question. Yeah, like, like to say he just has to be in the top three. Like Yanis Jokic and Luke exists. Like I can't just say he's and they're all hooping. They're all hooping. Like I don't yeah, know. Which, I, 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 which, which Damo is funny that you say that because it's crazy that we got to come up here and have a conversation where the league MVP goes, "Yo, 37, 12, reigning league MVP over here. Pay attention to me." That's what mm -hmm. it tells you a lot about what's going on in the league. How many great mm -hmm. players is in the league? Because 
I mean, damn, 37 and 12. We, he had to get to this for us to start acknowledging him. Wow. Yeah. Also, I, too, I, 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 I do want to point out the fact that um, I think it's been a transition in the way Joel's played due to his coach. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that's uh, – we, we talk about players that you have a lot. Coaching goes into it a lot as well. I think this might be – Mars, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be the first time he's had a above competent coach. Bit, this might be the first time he's had a good basketball coach. I mean, are you talking about what? Good, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that in my, in my opinion, opinion, are you serious? Yes. In my <laughs> opinion, yes. In my <laughs> opinion. Bro, get out of here, bro. Hey, if me and, if we're not going to do Doc's like humble that, opinion, Doc, very not, humble don't, opinion. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, man. Doc was a, Doc was a good coach. Nick Nurse is a better coach. But let's not talk like Doc Rivers wasn't a good coach. He was I a good mean, coach. He was mid at best. Nick now, Nurse now the, guy, the, guy, the guy before him though, what was his name? Brent Brown. Brent Brown. I, I can, I can, I, I dig you with that one. But come on, bro, don't don't do Doc like that, bro. Don't do. Doc. I'm just saying, like, if you, if you, if if I'm trying to go to war, and you equip me with a butter knife and <laughs> some rocks, I, 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 what am I supposed to do? And the butter I'm knife not, is James Harden, and the rocks are Doc River. Doc I'm Rivers. not doing. I'm not. I'm not doing the coaching tax with with <laughs> with uh, Joel Embiid at all. Not at all. I'm just Why? saying you shouldn't even have brought that up, man. Why? Because that's not that's uh, that's not that's not fair. Because coaches, coaches can kill you. something that matters. You know what I'm saying? Coach, yes, no. coaching can be the difference between you. I'm not saying I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying that's not true, but Doc River Doc Rivers has not hindered Joel Embiid's career. Look at how he's you playing can, now. You <laughs> could give you could Joel. I mean, Joel been balling, he was balling before this. Joel, right. Joel been balling. He bought he and, bought and out we could, last year. And we could see the clear flaws in the Sixers offense that was gonna hold them back. Right, you're, you're, you're muted, bro. You're not on mute, bro. Yeah, yeah, we um, need to hear I'm talking. He's laughing while I'm talking. Yeah, oh. <laughs> but we could, like, I remember vividly outlining the flaws of using Embiid the way they were using him at the free throw line, trying to hide his flaws playing out the post. Also, the lack of movement in that offense and how stationary it was that when Embiid did post up, everyone just stood around the three point line with terrible spacing, giving Embiid oh, no yes. passing options. Oh, so yes. we could see the flaws that they had and how easy it was to load up on Embiid because of it. And then the playoffs came, and then guess what? Embiid's in the post. I'm seeing two people in one corner, no movement. Embiid can't make I, I, these I passes because there's no one to give the ball to. I, I remember saying these things. Right, right. I, I th- but I thought y'all said he just wasn't a good a good passer. That y'all, y'all, y'all said that these, these people were open, that he just couldn't make the pass. He's not a very good passer. But when you make it more difficult for him as a passer, that also doesn't help. I still don't think he's a very good passer. But Nick Nurse is putting him in positions where... He can make better decisions, and with more people moving and cutting around him, it makes it harder for defenses to just play one spot and play a passing lane that Embiid can't find room for. Where if they're moving, the defense is also moving, which makes it harder for them to cover everyone that they need to cover, and you can't load up an Embiid as easily. That's Nick Nurse coaching right there. That's going to make it harder for them to stop them in the playoffs. That makes it better for Embiid post touches in the playoffs. Also, the being defended by guards, sure, I get it. But let's not act like it's not just Marcus Smart covering him one on one. You got one man at the elbow ready to help instantaneously. You got another guy in Al Horford helping in, not even not even helping off PJ Tucker, leaving mm. PJ Tucker to go play on the mm. other play near the baseline. And Bede can't just the only way he's gonna score on Marcus Smart is if he shoots over the top of him every time. And then if he does that, you're just gonna say, well, why is he not backing him down? Because if he backs him down, mm. he's getting triple teamed. <clears throat> That's what's gonna this, happen. If you go watch this, when they were having Marcus Smart on him, watch where uh-huh. the two nearest defenders from Boston were, and what and tell me how you expect him. It's almost like a zone. It was, it was almost like a zone. Almost. This, well, this, 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 this my because thing. PJ this, Tucker was nothing on offense. Yeah. But this is my thing. Like I'm not, I'm not denying that Nick Nurse is a better coach than Doc Rivers. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm not. I'm also not going to say that Doc Rivers was a uh, necessarily a hindrance to Joel and B. He 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 looks. He looked he looked really good last year. My thing is this too. If you're if you're a big man and you're on, and you're in the mid block mid post, now I see what you're saying. That there's a double team coming from here. There's a double team coming from there. When you catch the ball or just hold it and and look, that gives a double team a, a chance to a chance to come. You you catch the ball in the mid post, you got to go quick. Joel Embiid's not going quick. He he wants he wants to be all cute. He wants to do all this and all that and all that. That's not that's not a coaching thing. That's that's you being a big man knowing how to get to work quick. I can't I can't put that on on Doc Rivers. That's on you as a as a as a big seven foot, two hundred and seventy, hey, however big he is. You catch the ball, and you go quick. You catch the ball, you spin, bam. You don't you don't give the time. You don't give the the double team a chance to come. That's just that's just 
simple basketball. From you I, know, I, we, we, I learned, we, learned, we learned that in high school. Catch the ball and go. You can't. There's no. There's no way that you should allow a double team to come that way anyway. On top of that, when you already know where the double team is coming from, too. Come on, that's that's a quick double move. You catch the ball here, spin back that way, lay it up. That's that's Joel being um being timid. That's Joel being timid on the block. That's not that's not uh, Doc Rivers problem. So here Yo, we have uh ticket. We have yet to hear from you on the Joel Embiid matter and Tyrese Maxey as in in the process as a whole. Uh you want to chime in right now? Yeah, what's up, Playboy? Um what's good with you? as usual, I, I pretty much disagree with everybody. Um, I do think <laughs> Doc is a better coach than uh than um Nick Nurse. Nick Nurse. Uh Nick Nurse was inherited Kawhi Leonard on a team that had already to the conference finals. So Nick Nurse, he got a lot of extra credit uh, for things that he didn't have to prove. He's always been a coach who's had great teams. So we've never seen him in a situation where he's really had to coach up a team. We haven't seen him in an Orlando Magic situation and stuff like that. And when we did, he failed and got fired. Uh, so, yeah, um, saw that situation that, that right there. That is true, Ticket. That is true. Um, you you know, uh, like I said, I think everybody forgets about that and gives some extra credit for things that guys before him built up. But we never will give those guys that credit. We just give it to Nick Nurse. Same thing with Steve Kerr, but um, <clears throat> I digress. Awesome. Uh, next, I want to touch this point, too. Uh, I do agree with one thing Bob said. Uh, Joel Embiid was the MVP last year with Doc Rivers, so he was already playing at this level uh, last year. This is nothing new. I agree with something Chilltown said. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We all judge. The great ones judge the great ones by what you do when it counts. Uh, so uh, – if you guys remember when Giannis was winning MVPs, all the all the pros and were saying, "Hey man, we don't want you to win no more MVPs, so you win championship." Till you prove to us that you're an MVP caliber player. So they really took out the regular season to that. You know what I'm saying? They said we want to see what you're doing when it counts because I mean it's easy to do it during the regular season when teams ain't really playing that great of defense. It's like that. Now speaking of defense, also I quickly touch on uh, this is the reason why I say Rudy Gobert is one of the most overrated defenders in NBA history. Because every time he plays an elite big man, he gets absolutely annihilated for the most part. And to last night was just another example of him, you know, not being able to live up to this four-time defensive player of the year billing or three-time, whatever he is, and all of this stuff that people glaze and put on his name. He got it absolutely annihilated. And that would happen over and over and over and over and over again. So you ask yourself, how great of a defensive big man is he when he's not playing in a league full of great big men? But when he does play great big men, he normally – those guys get over their match uh, and, and pretty much take it to him. Uh, and um, the thing with Tyrese Maxey, uh, you look at it like this. Uh, I said I thought Maxey was one of the premier point guards in the league. Young guys is coming up. I do think that the process is still going on. I don't think the process is finished until Joel Embiid has gone because the process pretty much began with Joel Embiid. So it can't end unless he's out. So to me, the process is still going on until Joel Embiid is done. So you had a process of, you know, the first coach, because when uh, the first coach got fired, nobody said the process is over with. When um, uh, Brett Brown got fired, nobody says, hey, this is the end of the process is over with. So because he was the original coach. So the process, if it was going to be ended, it should have been ended when he was fired because they they didn't get it done. Uh, And then came in Doc Rivers. you know, everybody thought Doc Rivers kind of did better than what Brett Brown did, but people still thought he came short, even though he had a hand forced on him that he didn't want with James Harden. That kind of wrecked him. Everybody talks about the ball moving and stuff like that. It's easy to say that when you don't have guys that want to move without the ball, like James Harden, who are just lazy, stand in one spot, don't really want to move around, don't really want to adjust uh, positions. So it's easy to say that, but when we've seen Doc Rivers with other teams like the Boston Celtics, they had great ball movement. So that kind of shows you that sometimes that's the player and not the coach. You understand what I'm saying? A coach can tell a player what to do anytime he want. But if a player says, I'm the system, not a system player, there's your answer right there. So when you look at a guy like Tyrese Maxey, now the reins have been unleashed on him. Now he's able to do what he does and he's coachable. So the things that the coach can ask James Harden to do, he can ask Maxey to do. And those other guys will do it And everything. Once Maxey does this, and Embiid is doing everything flows up freely for all the other players on the team. When you have James Harden, he ha- he literally like has the ball. And remember him and Doc Rivers going head to head because Doc wants him to play one way. He wants to play another way, which is why he wanted out. 
So, yeah, man, I totally disagree with pretty much everybody. I agree with Chilltown on what he said about Embiid. I just think that uh, you have to judge it. And, and then last thing I'll say is this. The injuries are, are normal. Uh, most players have injuries. Most players are hurt. Uh, a lot of players have injuries in the playoffs. You never hear about them because they never complain about them. Uh, you know, uh, De'Aaron Fox, he had an injury. He never complained about it. He came back and just kept playing. Never used it as an excuse. Never said, hey, man, uh, this is the reason why we lost. This is the reason why I played bad. No, he just went out there and still played through it and did what he did. That's what I like about young cats like De'Aaron Fox. Uh, this year, he came back early from an injury. We thought he was going to be out longer. You know what I'm saying? Kids just want to be in a good. This is normal stuff. Uh, that's why I say it's important that you play the game some too when you talk the game. Because when we were growing up, coming up, and Bob knows this, Chill knows this, when we were, when you were younger grow, growing up, it didn't matter. We didn't think about injuries. Bro, when we was playing for free, if everybody was down at the park or everybody was down the block at somebody's house balling, and you had you could have had a sprained ankle, your ankle could have felt down there broke. You was going down there to play. You was trapping them up going down there to play because everybody else was down there. So this is just that that was just a part of the mentality. You know, so when our Mars say, hey man, if I was hurt, I wouldn't play. That explains, that explains why we always have a disconnect because you think things differently than the actual ball players think things. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, does anybody have any rebuttals to anything Ticket said? No, I'm just I, I'm I, pissed I, right I, now, I'm man. I'm spitting for 95% of it. Uh, does does mm-hmm. anybody want to talk about uh, just the game last night? Joel scoring 51, Maxi scoring 35, um, them as a duo, or how they just completely handled the uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves? I, I hate I hate I hate when people touch the the month the motherfucking thermometer in the refrigerator, yo. I got frozen strawberries right here, but I can't also see these frozen strawberries, man. They ain't frozen uh, no more because they touched the thermometer in the refrigerator. Like call them call them out, big ox. Who touched the, who who touched the thermometer? Has to be one of the kids in there just messing around, man. Damn, right now. Well, I'm gonna hey, wake somebody up. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake somebody up with a belt. I'm telling you. Uh, oh, hey, you, 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 you sure? Because yeah. I was at your crib yesterday. Uh oh, is is, is is are we talking about somebody? Specific, bro. Uh, we talking about somebody specific, Big Ox. Is I'm it saying, I seen, I seen who Ron, did it. I, I want to run. I want to add one thing and quick to you. You know, it's funny to me <clears throat> how you come in here and some guys come in here and y'all say this stuff about Doc. But I made a great point. Nobody had an answer to it. I waited to see if somebody had an answer to that. When people just outright say, "Oh man, um, you know, Nick Nurse is a better." You ain't gotta make your face like that, Domo. You cool? Uh, when because I, I wasn't even talking about you, but if the shoe fits, wear that mug. Um, nigga, I'm reading chat. Just said, talk. You all right, dog? You on your period? You all right? So just uh, talk. I, I'm reading, saying, I, took it, I, took it, I was gonna rebuttal to what you were, what you were gonna like say about, 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 about like, 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 like I said, but keep going. Like I said, like I said, um, and I was saying, we a couple guys in here said that they thought that he was a better coach than Doc Rivers. I disagree because I said this: if you look at his situations. The, the instant he lost Kawhi Leonard, what did he do? But we've seen uh, Doc. I, I said, I said you were spitting. No, 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 no. I talking about you, Bob. If the shoe fit, word. Because Ron said, do anybody disagree with any things I said? So you didn't disagree with that. But my whole point was, we saw Doc with the Clippers without CP3, without all those superstars. And what did he do with a young Shea? What did he do with Tobias Harris and those guys? Doc raised those guys up and was overachieving with those guys. So he showed you not only could he coach superstars, but he coached guys who had lesser talent. He did the same thing with the Orlando Magic and brought them up with T-Mac and a bunch of role players early. All I'm saying is, is that when old boy got his time in Toronto to prove what his worth was after Kawhi left with role players, with still role players who won, some of them who won championships, and guys like Siakam and all these other guys, he couldn't do nothing. He underachieved. He got what he got. Well, he, he, well, here's the difference, though, Ticket. The difference with that is what you're you're, you're basing that on him winning championships. You ain't winning no, championships. No, 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 yes, you I, are, Ticket. You could just I, I unfair. Say, the hold, first hold, 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 what did Don't they lie, do when bro, he was I'm there? I'm talking about that. I'm not saying lying. Ticket, let's talk back. What did they I do when Kawhi was there when he got the job? What my did man. they do? I'm my asking man. you hold a simple question, Ticket. Hold on. Respect. Hold on. My brother. My brother. My brother. Respectfully. 
I took that off the table when I was talking about those two because they both won championships with great players. So I said, without the great players, what did he do versus what God did with that Clippers team and with the okay. Magic team? Right. So championship okay. off the table because they both had okay. championships with great okay. players on it. So, so, so number one, you. Being the kind of guy that you are, when you talk about getting it out the mud, you talking about the process and talking about going hard, you should applaud Nick Nurse. This is the same guy who coached their G League team to a championship. This is the same guy who was the assistant coach sitting right next to Dwayne Casey. This is the same guy who moved Dwayne Casey out, and that team won 59 games, and then they, they go on to win the championship. But then you want to take championship off the table. Let me ask you a Let's question. About was that Dwayne Casey's fault, or was that DeMar DeRozan's fault? Let's because take you. Think, let, hold on, let, wait, 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 one second, wait one second, my brother. Because if you think that Dwayne Casey had Kawhi Leonard, do you think he wins a chip? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm do you not know sure. I'm asking a question. I'm, I'm, I'm asking sure. a question. I'm not sure. Do you I'm think sure. that if Dwayne there's Casey a lot of things was going to the Western Finals, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Because even Mars can tell you this. Mars told you over the years he strictly blamed DeRozan for all of the failures, and Mars can read out the numbers. They are absolutely atrocious. His numbers. In the playoffs, he got benched. How bad he was playing as a star player. So right. all you was somebody competent in there. Because even though he played as bad as he played, guess what? They were going Glock for Glock with those Cavs teams and LeBron. LeBron was just finishing those games off on those dudes. So if you go look it up, he was He's playing so horrible. So you're going to tell me that you had a coach who was as good as this guy was, who came when the franchise was nothing, built them up to something. You're going to tell me if he didn't add on Kawhi at that time? You still don't think he could have did the same thing that very year that Nick Nurse did? That's incredible, depending, bro. Depend, depending on what was what was happening, because we already talking about I, the same thing. Same year, same thing. We're, we're talking about the we're talking about the circumstances. If they get Kawhi, I'm not I'm not saying that. What I am saying, you brought up ticket. You brought up without Kawhi Leonard, right? What you're talking about without Kawhi Leonard, without right. the championship, we're taking that off the table. So right. if I look after at the Kawhi talk, left, after Kawhi left. So if, so if I look at this Toronto Raptors team, so if I look at this Toronto Raptors team after Kawhi Leonard left and they lose in the semifinals to the Boston Celtics, right? They lose in the semifinals to the Boston Celtics. That was the, the first round, right? No, it was the semifinals. They lose to the Boston Celtics in the bubble, which who if, did they if, the first round. Who did they beat in the first? I'm saying with Nick Nurse. That's what See, I'm talking about with Nick Nurse. Orlando, hold on, hold on, hold on. Orlando, this is Orlando, hold on. This is what, 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 was it, Orlando? Hold on, hold on. This is a disrespect. Maybe Orlando, Orlando Philly, 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 Milwaukee, Philly. and then Golden State. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm talking about, not, not with Nick Nurse. No, 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 I'm talking about after after Nick Nurse left, because I know that they lost I know that they lost to Miami. I'm, I, I know that they lost – I think it was – I know they lost to Boston in the second round in the bubble. I know that for a fact, because I look at that 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 team. And, no, I'm saying with Nick Nurse, with Nick Nurse. Right, this is with Nick Nurse in the bubble. No, Nick Nurse wasn't coaching in the bubble. That was Doc. Oh, excuse me, that wasn't Doc. Excuse me. No, that wasn't that, my bad. In, Tor in, in Toronto, Toronto Nick, in Toronto, it was still Nick Nurse. We're talking, we're talking yeah, about Nick Nurse. Hold on. So what did they do in the bubble, Chill? Again, they lost in the semifinals to the Boston Celtics. It, they lost just like they, did, they didn't get past the semifinals with Nick Nurse at the Kawhi Leonard left. Just like the just like any team with Doc Rivers, just like any team with Doc Rivers, they didn't get past the semifinals after he had the championship unit that he had in Boston. They didn't get past the semifinals. So it's not like, these guys together weren't doing the same thing. Yes, they were. So to the point of them having to get great players in order to win the NBA championship, yes, that does matter. So the idea that he doesn't – that the idea that he can't coach, this he can't coach better than Doc Rivers, his ability to adjust within the game. His defensive schemes are better, and they've been better. Joel Embiid this season has been much better defensively than he's been in the past, just like this whole team has been better. The offense is moving a lot more. There's not a lot of standing around watching as opposed to what it was in the past with Doc Rivers. There's a lot more action going on. on the, there's a lot more action going on in ball movement. There's a lot more freedom within the uh, offense. Uh, chill town, chill town. You're right, chill town. I apologize to everybody in the chat room. Chill town is right. And Mars, I suddenly remember it comes to my memory now. He did go to the second round in the bubble because he got an extension in the first round. Remember, the whole Brooklyn Nets team didn't go down there, sir. So he played bench players. So he got a buy in the first round. Remember, KD was hurt. Kyrie didn't go to the bubble. And all of the role players are down there. The best player they had was Paris LeVert, sir. So that doesn't work on me. That little he's Rudy Pooh candy he's, stuff, he's, he's, I, he's I have a great he's, memory. He's, I have a great memory. Had, so you're still, right. They got a buy in the first round no, they because didn't get a Brooklyn buy. They got still their main play. guys didn't even to go play. to the bubble. So they he he play. definitely got a buy in that first round. But every year, Hold on. Hold on. But every hold on, sir. But every other year, the year after that, 
What did he do? He won 27 games a year after that. The year after that, he won He, he won the first round to Doc Rivers. He oh. lost to Doc Rivers in the first round in Philly. Right. Then the next year, hold on. Then the next year after that. Then the next year after that. Then the next year after that. He the next year after that. He didn't even make the playoffs. And right. then he got fired. So, right. I'm glad you brought that up. So so add some context to the year that they won 27 games ticket. Don't leave out the fact that they left Toronto and they had to play in Tampa for the season for those 72 games. They had to play. So they basically had 72 road games that they had to play. Mm -hmm. So that matters. Don't mm -hmm. leave that part out. Okay, so the next year, when they actually make the playoffs, with their roster being completely different than what it was, completely different than what it was, and then they end up losing to a better team in Philadelphia with Doc Rivers, with James Harden. They lose with a, they lose to a better team. And then last year, last year was what it was. This team had basically maxed out. And sometimes when you're dealing with a coach, I always felt like this: the voice and and and, and the name in the in the on the on the moniker in terms of a coach, it gets old. And then now you have to now you have to move on. He's moved on to a better team, and you see what he's doing. Philadelphia is a top five seed in the East. They have arguably they have arguably the best player on the planet right now. They arguably have the league MVP, and they're rolling right now. Doc is not coaching. Doc is now in television. Doc could have gotten. I'm pretty sure Doc could have gotten the job. But to your your stance is what has he done? What has he done without those star players? The exact same thing that Doc Rivers has. Well, well, I disagree. Under, because under, his under, first under, year, hold under, on, hold on. I got it right here for you. I have, I have it right here for you. The fact his first year, his first year away from the Celtics, he won fifty-seven games and with the Clippers. His yeah. second year, he won fifty-six games with the Clippers. His yeah. third year, he won fifty-three games with the Clippers. Yeah. His fourth year, he won fifty-one games with the Clippers. Yeah. His fifth year, he won forty-two games with the Clippers. His yeah. sixth year, and that was without star players. His yeah. sixth year, they won forty-eight games with the Clippers. Clippers? Without yeah, without, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about before, did you just before, say, before did you Kawhi, just say before Kawhi and them came up. Bro, I'm talking about with the, I'm right. talking about with uh, right. uh, Pat Ev right. and all those dudes. Right. You remember when they went and played KD and them and went six games right. uh, with right. the with the uh, Warriors? Am I right, Mars? They went. Right. I think they won six. Games with the Warriors in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Ticket that, was that the series where Steve Kerr was that the Steve series Steve Kerr told KD he needed to close. Ticket really. No, quick. That was the series where KD went. I'm Kevin Durant. Went to my Patrick Beverly. That's mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah, now, no, so what I'm saying with your town, he has shown you a little more extended period of time, in my opinion, of having to coach along with the Orlando days. Look what he did with the Orlando Magic. Did he not turn that team around? Doc Rivers, when he was in Orlando. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. From when he got to Orlando, from what they were to what they were when he ended, he overachieved in Orlando. They didn't think he was really? going to make the playoffs. This, this, the same this, is, this is the same Orlando team that lost 19 straight games. This is that, that, that same Orlando team. This is the same Orlando team that the year before they lost 19 straight games, had a 3-1 lead in the playoffs and lost. That same Orlando team ticket, is that what we're talking about? Now let's get no, back no, to No, 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 no. Hold on. I agree with you on that. I'm just saying that he had overachieved. They didn't expect that team to never do that with Doc Rivers. Am I right or wrong? Hold on, hold on. Am never, I right or wrong? Never overachieved losing 19 oh, straight Okay, so let me, so then, let me tell you this. When Chuck Daly was the coach, last year he was a coach in 98-99 in Orlando, they won 33 games, right? right? The very next year, you know how many games they won with Doc Rivers? Without T-Mac. They won 41 games the very next year without Tracy McGrady. Right. Right? So now, now, overachieving. Hold on, Jill. The best player, hold on. The best player on his team was from Division Two. His name was Daryl Armstrong, a small point guard. You remember him? I remember him very well. The very Darryl next year, he won 43 games. The very next year, he won 43 games. And I think that – yeah, that was T-Max first year over there. He won 43 games. They, they overachieved. The next year, they won 44 games. He won coach of the year. Right. So what I'm saying is, Chill Town, is that he's proven to you without multiple superstar talents or all his talent – Spread out around the team, like the uh, the uh, Toronto Raptors had when when Nick Nurse went over there. He's proven to you, in my opinion, he's shown more body of work without having those guys. All I'm saying is this: y'all can all feel how y'all want to feel. I disagree with the Doc Rivers slander about him not being a of a coach because to me, he's shown you that he can do it both ways. He can coach stars, and yes, he's underachieved a lot with stars, but he can also coach a team that isn't full with stars too. I think Doc is a very good coach, and I don't think we give enough credit for that. Bro. So, when when and and la the last thing I'm going to say, so I, I don't think that's relevant. I, I, I'll leave that alone. So, shout out to Kawhi Leonard, though. I hope you don't do that in the debate because you because if you do that in the debate, you dead me, bro. No, it, 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 here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, ticket. I don't have to have the last word to. 
make a statement. That's not it's not necessary to have the last word to make a statement. So, I mean, <clears> I could <throat> I could very well go off. You, you know, you running down what, what what went on with the Clippers, and I'm 100 percent confident that during that time when he was with those Clipper teams, he had arguably the best point guard in the game in Chris Paul. He had arguably the best power forward in the game in Blake Griffin. He had he had arguably the best sharpshooter in the game in the game. And the, the guy that, that that coaches, I mean JJ, the guy that works JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick. He had arguably the best rotation guy in the game. So he's had talent More. when he was in the clip. He was with the Clippers. He had talent when he was with the Boston Celtics. He had talent when he was in Philadelphia. And when you want to talk about overachieving, he underachieved more than he overachieved, considering what he had. And what he did. Well, I losing, agree. Hold on. I agree lo- with you. But losing, losing, have, losing three, I, I, no, losing I agree with that. But next time we have debates, next time we have debates, don't come up here when I'm saying something about Kevin Garnett and it's talk yeah. about how he got hurt that year in Boston and that stopped him from winning a championship because that would have been another one on Doc's resume. Don't come in here talking about how, how Joel Embiid is always getting hurt in the playoffs and all those years he got hurt with Doc Rivers because that hurt Doc Rivers as well as the head coach on the team that Joel Embiid was hurt and couldn't go 100%, sir. Also, don't talk about all those injuries he had with the strippers when Kawhi and Paul George and them dudes was getting hurt for all those years outside of the year they got walked down in the playoffs. No, nope, so you're not doing that. No, 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 nope, you're not doing that. Let me tell you why you're not doing that. You're not doing that because Kawhi Leonard has a history of that. That's number one. Number two, there wasn't all of those years with Kevin Garnett. It was that one season. Don't do that. Right, no, 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 do no, not. It was just that one year. Right, no, no, this wasn't something that was reoccurring with Kevin Garnett. That was not going on. No, no, I'm saying what you said, though. You said that. No way. Hold on. Did you not say they would have won? Did you not say you thought they would have won the NBA championship? Again. Right. So hold on. So hold on. So, what is, so let me ask you a real question. Hold on. Let me ask you a question because Doc might be watching this. What would your thoughts be about Doc Rivers if he was a two-time world champion instead of one? The same. The same thoughts I would have if Grandma had Grandpa. If Grandma no, no, had asked, balls. I'm asking you. What why. would your thoughts That's be? Hold on. Would you the look same, at Doc Rivers? Differently? I would look at Doc the same way I would look at Grandma if she had balls. She'd be Grandpa. Because guess what? Grandma doesn't have balls. Don't so give me that. Grandma in 2023. Okay. Don't give me that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, yo, this is a good time to go ahead. Yo, Damo Wilding, Mars Wilding, focus, Damo. Bob Chippen. <laughs> hey, but uh, page, this is a good brother. time to tell everybody go ahead and scan them QR codes right at the bottom right and bottom left of the screen. Go to www.playerschoicemerch.com. Check out some of the fly stuff that we got on there. Uh, it's Christmas season, as you can see up in the top left hand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron, Ron. Y'all asked right, me right, 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 why right, would it be right, watching this? Ticket? Ticket, hold on right quick. I'm, I'm trying to promo uh, the battle, Ticket. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to let people know that on December 23rd, you finna be the main draw. I'm trying to let them know that you and Chill. I don't care about no main right draw. Here. I'm hey. telling people in the comment section that you guys in here talking this stuff. Y'all don't know. All these people do watch the show. Holland Burton watch the show. A lot of the guys watch the show. KD and them watch the show sometimes. A lot of these stars watch the show. So when y'all saying, oh, y'all just talking shit. No, we telling the truth. They watch all these shows, bro. So cut the crap. Uh, also, I'm running a poll right now. I said, who's winning the current debate? Um, and Chilltown is up 65 to 35 right now on that debate. He's going to be up. It's a bias over here. I don't care. No, it's not. No, it's not a bias. It's no, it's bias not. Over here, bro. I'm nicer okay, than you. Well, I, 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 you I, I get all of you to front of my channel one day. I'm nicer than you. All of you to front of my channel one day. All of you to front of my channel one day. Let's make let's sure do this on my guys. channel one day and let's see what the results is. Let's, 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 let's do this on my sure channel and see what the results is. We've, I've, I've pulled up to your block more than once, Ticket. You've had me over your house more than once, more than twice, Ticket. Let's be clear about that. Don't make it sound like that. Don't make it sound like, don't make it sound like I don't walk over to your neighborhood. You already, you, you already cheated elder over here. Don't, you don't don't already cheated elder like, over here. You already cheated elder. I didn't cheat nobody. Don't look at the comments. I didn't cheat nobody. I didn't cheat nobody. No, I didn't. I ain't cheat nobody, and I'm not going to cheat should. you when I hit you with this right cr- with this right cross across your chin piece and drop you on Friday and on Saturday. Yeah, I'm not going to cheat you, me. Ogre. So, uh, Chill Town, when you were over at Ticket's house, did you tamper with anything? I didn't touch nothing. You, you did. You didn't mess with the refrigerator mm-hmm. or. Mm-hmm. I didn't touch the, nothing. The, nope. The, the 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 hot water thermometer or anything. No, like I that? didn't. I didn't oh, touch okay, nothing. Okay. No, not, not only did I not touch nothing, I showed up like I like he asked me to. And I came by myself. You, you took your I shoes asked, off at the door. I, I, I ain't yeah. asked nobody to come with me. I ain't get my boys with me. No, nah, I came to Ticket House by myself. With all his goons, with all his dogs barking at me, I still showed up. Like, what up? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, December 23rd, we'll see what actually transpires. Uh, But we got 
Vin Chats, we got Pal Chats, we got Cash Chats. So I'm going to start with the Cash Chats first. Um, <laughs> Damo, you know who Charizard is? Yep. Who's Charizard? Uh, based on this Cash Chat, I would assume that you guys may or may not know each other. But uh, Charizard said, what up, Damo? Big Sexy Chocolate. Love y'all, PC, with the black heart emoji. That's I just one saying how he really feels. I, say, I, I thought we were talking about Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, that's, that's just one saying how he really feels. He just hit it behind the. Cash I, I don't know what that is. Is that what it is? I'll <laughs> share my screen. <laughs> you don't just... got to. You don't got to. <laughs> All right. Hey, it was at eleven seventeen yesterday. But hey, shout out to Charizard Zero. If y'all want to send him some money, go ahead. That's his cash chat. But uh, anyways, Mail sent through a um a, a super chat through via Cash App and said. Last cash chat. How long? Uh, how long was Kobe the best shooting guard? Oh, one to when he retired. Oh, to, uh, not, not 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 retired. To, I'm I'm gonna say thirteen. Twelve years. I'll say thirteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some would say some would say AI was better than one. I would disagree, but oh, one to thirteen. I would I say I was better than one too. Ox 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 and then you got the thing, thing. See, Mars, I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruffle no feathers, but there was a couple of years there. You know what I'm saying? But there's a di there's, there's, there's a difference between being good. the best undisputed, and then there's a conversation. Yeah, yeah, there's, that's there's, what I'm saying. Those, 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 those wasn't all undisputed. A lot of yeah. those wasn't undisputed. You know, so who was who was who was who was making it undisputed? Who was making it not undisputed? I was in the competition. Yeah, I was in the competition. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on, hold on. Let me answer the question real quick, real quick. Iverson was, T Mac was. Later in those, later in those years. Later in those years. I ain't even going to go. Hold on, hold on, bro. Let me finish. I'm just asking you what was T Mac better than Kobe. But let me finish. Not only that, but there was a couple years where shit, D Way was trying to give him a little run for his money, too. When was D When was T Mac better than Kobe? I'm going to ask you that question. There was goofy a ain't got no answer. There. This this goofball ain't there got no answer. A, <laughs> let me let me let me fucking talk. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. No, you said so I'm coming with the facts. Never Let's mind, never mind, bro. Go go ahead, Ron. You want, nah, you want smoke? I'm putting pressure on you. Don't run on the court. I don't, I don't need no pressure. I'm just. I, now, I know what it is. You ain't got the. You ain't got that essay in front of you. Front of you. you don't got that essay in front of you. Like I said, when Nigga, you don't just have like no just like a, just like a couple you, seconds you ago, just like a couple seconds ago, when you said when you said some shit that wasn't right, and then it was quiet. And then he was quiet. was quiet. was better than I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm not answering your questions, bro. Thank you. Even more is doing a second ago. And then a second ago, you, 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 you was quiet. You was quiet. And then all of a sudden mean. you said, you know what? I remember off the top of my head. Shut up. You be all on your computer, bro. Stop lying to people. I'm not on my computer right now. Turn your camera on. Let's see. Turn your camera on. Let's see. I can't turn my camera on because if you see what I'm what I got going on, you yeah, they'll nah, shut this yeah, whole thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we don't want to do that. I think the year I think the year I think the year he let the league get shadow ban for episode. I don't. I, I, I'm. I'm not on the. I'm not on the fence about this. I don't think Tracy McGrady, uh, Allen Iverson, Dwayne Wade. I put. I, I say Dwayne. Whenever I say. Whenever I talk to people about Dwayne Wade and Kobe, it's the same as Drex and Jordan. Anybody outside of Michael Jordan, Drex kicked their ass. But at no point was he better than 23. And that's how I feel about. And that's how I feel about Dwayne Wade. As good as Dwayne Wade was, he wasn't 24 good. At no he point, T Mac never did nothing better than Kobe. T Mac never, was the one never, who couldn't even get out the first round. Ball. He except couldn't get out the first ball. round over in his career, except for when he went to win. Except, 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 coaching him, man. Couldn't get out the first round. Damn. So. Yeah, but hey, he shouldn't have went to the press conference and said we are three one and we gonna win for the first time. You could, you could. Two thousand, two thousand one. AI was better. Two thousand one. AI was better than Kobe. I've heard tickets say AI was the best player in the world. Uh, you know what? I give you. Hold on. I I said T Mac. I give you that with AI for that year. I give you that. But I, I when I ask you about T Mac, like, I, like I said, like I like I said, like I, like I was trying to say, I'm not gonna give you just one year when T Mac was just better than Kobe, like a, a season. But I could say any time from 2000, from 2003 on to 2007, I could I can wrongly say. T Mac was T Mac was giving Kobe a run for his money, bro. Like, let me ask you about. Let me ask you a question. Do you think just, that Kobe Bryant would have lost it? Do you think Kobe Bryant would have lost that same series T Mac lost with the Magic if it was Kobe? I if you replaced well, I think I think I think Kobe I think T Mac would have got every ring Kobe got. 
I disagree. He ain't built like Kobe. Maybe not. Maybe not those last two. Maybe not those last two. My bad. Maybe not those. Last no, no, two. no. Two but he got no, no. But even when, but even he had Yao Ming and still couldn't and still couldn't do. It. Yao Ming was the second best center in the world. He couldn't do it. Yeah, but I mean, and T Mac has Kobe had Shaq. I mean, Kobe had Shaq. So if I, if you put if you put anybody any of these top shooting guards in the position you put Kobe in, I think they I think they do it too. No, but like, I'm saying, that's, that's, no, that's, that's no knock to Kobe. So before before I say that, let me let me let's understand that let's understand that by saying somebody can perform in the same setting as another person, that's not a mm -hmm. knock to that person. Kobe was elite. T Mac was elite. D Wade was elite. Iverson was elite. Manu Ginobili was elite. Right, I get that. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that. 2001, 2001, 2001, 2002, it was a conversation with other people. I think from 2003 to 2010, I think undisputed, he was the heavyweight champion of the two guards. I don't, I don't ever think nobody I think it should have started like, in 01, but 03 is the least. As, 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 as good as Dwayne, and, as, mm -hmm. I, and I'm, a, I'm a big time Dwayne Wade fan, as good as Dwayne Wade was. I don't think he was ever 24 good, ever. And you seen Kobe up close, Chill Town. And, and I don't think he was Lewis, ever 24 Bing, good. Ever. I don't think nah, he was Bob, ever 24 I asked you, Bob, I asked you that question because you said that you thought that he would have won those three rings that Kobe got with Shaq. Here's the thing. Do you think – see, that? Here, here's the, see, this is the big tricky part about this, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen Kobe go on and win rings with Powell, but right. T-Mac couldn't get nothing done with – and he had a better big man than Yao, than Yao Ming. You know what I'm saying? He had, and they had great role players on that on that Rockets team. So well, Kobe's, I'm, I'm just Kobe's saying, teams, I, and I don't I don't like to do this, but Kobe's teams were better than T Max teams. But that's not that's not I'm I'm not saying that I'm not I'm not using that because I'm I'm just talking about just game, just Kobe game, T Max right, game. Right. I, man, I don't know. Well, I don't think it's just game. I think it's also game. mentality. I think it's also mentality, and I think that that's what separates Kobe from Vince T Mac. I wouldn't say D-Wade because D-Wade has a killer mentality, but I would say that definitely separates him from guys like Vince and T-Mac is their, is their mentality. I don't think that T-Mac and Vince, they had the talent, the skills Kobe had, but they didn't have the mentality and the dog Kobe had. Like I told you guys, me and Smush had a conversation in Africa almost seven years ago. He came out yesterday and said it in an interview. Kobe Bryant refused to talk to him for two years, and they was in the locker room right beside each other. And he said Kobe said something to him. He said something to Kobe about, about the football game, and Kobe said, don't you ever say nothing to me until you get your accolades up. That's Period. Not, that sounds like a, that sounds like an asshole. It doesn't sound like a oh, that's a, no. That's that, that's when you just focus <laughs> on winning. That's, that's when you it, just that focus sounds like, that just sounds on like winning. a dickhead. That's what it sounds like. Yo, man. yo, be be that as it may, like whether <laughs> no, whether be, it sounds like an honest, asshole. Whether God, it hey, God like, rest, God rest the dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm not disrespecting being. I'm just saying it like, come on, bro. That's that's not cool. <laughs> Either way, but everybody, but they, they all know waste anything. Jordan was a jack off, right? He just had a good publicist. They all were. Like I said, like all, I all said yesterday, were. like I said yesterday, Chilton, I ought to put some in his Gatorade. Yeah, they all were like that. <laughs> Every last one of these guys. But, but there's no way that these guys were just all, hey, how you doing today, brother? You want to be ready to No, these dudes was all they, they were all that way in some way. They, we just didn't hear about it as much. But mm -hmm. um yeah, I I, I again I, I Larry was again. too Larry was too. Larry going to locker room and cuss the whole team out. Yeah, he called them girls. In the finals, I'm so, sometimes you need to do that. Some, sometimes, sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes call them girls. Call them, girl. call them sometimes, sissies. Sometimes you, ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like nothing. there's nothing wrong with if, if your if your team oh. is playing sorry. There's nothing wrong with you going in there and telling them, you know say what you got to say. You know whatever it is you right. got to say. What you got to call them. That's cool. But just saying, nah, you you're not good enough to talk to me. Like that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I don't care how you I don't care how you spin it. Like <laughs> that's crazy, bro. All right, y'all. Well, let's go ahead and spin into these super chats. Uh, appreciate everybody that's that's uh sent sent a few through. I'm gonna try to get around to every single one of the super chats. Uh, love all you guys sending sending these through, and uh, let's do it. Got one from A Breezy. A Breezy said, "This era is one one of the worst for superstars. They are never they are never good enough for anyone. The regular season is always discredited unless you like them and they have won before." That's not true, because yeah, the regular pretty, season is pretty negative. It's pretty yeah, negative. The, the, the regular season is discredited because who they up against. I I value the regular season, but the regular season matters when these guys take it into the postseason and elevate it. We can't just go when when we're talking about great players in any when, we, when we're talking about great players in this era, they're matched up against great players from previous eras. And did you do this? Did you do that? And if you didn't do that, then 
what you did in the regular season, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter as much because this guy did more in the regular season and the postseason. So <laughs> I think that's the problem. Uh, we can acknowledge someone playing great without having to say what does it mean for their all-time status. We can say Embiid's playing great without having to compare him to David Robinson. He d we don't need to, to do that. We could just say Embiid's playing fantastic and talk about how well he's playing in the league today. We don't need to say, oh, well, does that mean he's better than David Robinson or Patrick Ewing? We don't need to have that conversation. Uh, uh, the obsession of having to compare these guys to the players who came before them is, in my opinion, was ruining the conversations we're having. The, isn't like, that what it's about though Mars? I mean, ain't, it doesn't need do? to be we, and, we and, don't, and don't have to do that we don't have to talk about like and i'm guilty of this as well i'm not saying i'm absolved of all blame i i did the same thing with Jokic last year talking about how i think he's already one of the already the best offensive big man of all time i was ever I was doing you said ever Mars. Yeah. and i still and i still stand on that by the way right but i i i'm not saying i'm absolved of all blame i'm just saying we don't need but, to compare these guys to the past players to praise how well they're playing. We don't need to talk about Kawhi Leonard compared to Dominique Wilkins or James Worthy or Dr. J. We don't need to do that. Just right. talk about how great he's playing right now and how good he is compared to the rest of the league and his contemporaries. We don't need to talk about how it compares to these all-time greats who played 30 years ago every single time we have a conversation. Because then we're just going to get negative every time. We can acknowledge how great Embiid's playing, but then when we start comparing him to all-time greats whose whole body of work is finished, the conversation is going to get negative and all about what Embiid hasn't done. And I think that's where we go wrong, where we end up talking so badly about all these superstars because we're comparing them to people whose careers are over. If we just compare them to the rest of the league or just about how great they're playing, we can be a lot more positive. But didn't we do not do that before the 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 Well, not only that, Ticket, the problem that we had with that, Moss, is what you just said. Last season, you and to this day, you still feel like this. You think Joker is the best offensive player in NBA history. And the reason big why man, you're saying big that, big, big the best big, I'm sorry, the best big man in NBA history. And when you saying that, you're saying that because you immediately, when you watch him play, your mind goes back to, okay, what did I see before this for me to think that he's the best ever? You're not just watching him in the moment, acknowledging, yo, this guy's fantastic. Well, wait a minute. How does he match up and how does he fare? What does he what is what does he do better than Chamberlain? How much better is he than David Robinson? How much better is he than Patrick Ewing? For me to say that this guy is the best offensive big man that I've ever seen, you're not just saying that just because you're looking at what you're 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 basically wrapped up in what he's doing right now. No, you're now going back to well, did Chamberlain do this? Was was Elijah this good? Was 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 Jabal this good? Immediately you go back to that. So when you marvel in these guys, when we marvel in these guys, which we do, we marvel in them in a moment, and then it immediately brings us back to who we saw previous to them. That's where the that's where the comparison comes in. We can't just live in the moment right now. Ticket, it's like a rapper. Like you hear somebody rhyme, and you're like, yo, this dude rhymes is nice. Wait a minute, he kind of sound like Nas a little bit. Wait a minute, he sound like Biggie. Is he nicer than Big? Is he nicer than Rock Kim? That's just the way that goes. Yeah, and I, I think that's wrong. Like and I think sports, I was wrong to do that. But go ahead, Domo, sir. Go ahead. I was about to say, I, I think in other sports, though, it's a tad bit different when they have those conversations. I mean, I'm a super casual when it comes to baseball and football. But mm -hmm. so, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. But in football conversations, if we're talking about the great, if we're talking about there's a, when Pat Mahomes starts to emerge, yeah, I don't remember it being immediately, okay, Pat Mahomes versus Joe Namath, Pat Mahomes versus Steve Young. I don't remember that. I, I remember Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady. Then you will say Aaron Rodgers, and that was really in his guys in the league at that time, or shortly, or, or shortly uh, left. When it comes to other positions, you will compare him. You will compare that player to guys that either shortly just left. So you'll say, okay, this running back, hey, Chris McCaffrey's phenomenal, but I don't ever hear people say Chris McCaffrey versus Barry Sanders. If anything, I hear Chris McCaffrey compared to running backs from the last five years, or maybe Adrian Peterson. And again, I'm a casual. If there, if that is happening, hey, Chad, let me know. I'm just saying from what I hear and what I know. When I'm talking baseball with people, when we're talking about pitchers, I don't typically hear people say, "Okay, Shohei is a phenomenal pitcher," uh, or or whoever, or um 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 whoever. Uh, Garrett Cole. I know people are having that conversation, but Garrett Cole is a phenomenal pitcher. But they're not going, "Oh yeah," but if you put him up against Randy Johnson, like no, that's not conversation people are having. They're comparing him against people of his era or relatively right. close. Why is it in basketball the moment we start talking about how great somebody is? Immediately, oh yeah, man. Hey, this guy's a phenomenal power forward, but was he Charles Barkley? Like that's crazy to me. That there, I feel like there's a meeting. There, there's definitely a place where you can have 
conversations about how great somebody is, but you don't have to go back to the 80s and 90s and just total different eras. I think you can keep Damo. it relatively late. Can I ask you a question, Damo? What's up? Respectfully, do, um, and this is a good conversation you're having. Do, um, don't you think that isn't it, is, but isn't that what they did in the in the era before? Like, for example, before this era right here, like we'll say this era, the LeBron, KD, and them era. Didn't they do that for Kobe with Mike and all those guys? Didn't they do it at T Mac and Vince for Mike and all those guys? And then even before that, didn't they do that with Mike for uh, uh, Doctor J and all those guys? Didn't they do that in that those eras? I think that's the reason why we guys like me and Chilltown we do that because we grew up in that. We saw that that's how we compare players because those players looked up to the other players that that came before them and wanted to be compared to these players. Like when you heard Mike talk. You heard him talk about Jay. You heard how he reverenced Jay and how he talked about how he watched these guys growing up. The same thing if you go after that era with guys like Bean. They talked about how they watch him, even in this era now. You hear guys talking about mama mentality and how they love Kobe and how they admire Kobe and those guys, the guys in this era. So don't you think that if they, they do it, so it is apropos for us to do it as well? Well, one, you're talking about guys that's talking about their inspirations and what they looked up to. Last time I checked, just because you looked up to somebody doesn't mean I have to necessarily compare you to be better than that person. If Michael Jordan is saying how much he was influenced by Dr. J, how great Dr. J is, I think it's BS on the part of all the fans on basketball back then. to be like, all right, bet. So now you're dropping 40. Now because that was your inspiration, are you better than him? That's a that's a shame on y'all. I feel like it's a no, shame. No, 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 no. no, no hold on, hold on. I'm saying no. I'm saying they are saying that, though. I'm yeah, saying, keep going, I'm, keep going. Down. I'm saying, keep I understand going. that was a conversation like a Shaq would have a conversation saying, I want to be the most dominant center ever. I see guys like Will, I hear his numbers, I want to beat that. That's absolutely fine. Kobe saying, I want to be better than Michael Jordan. That's absolutely fine. But a guy like LeBron James saying, I'm just a kid from Akron, I love, I, I love Michael Jordan. At what point was he saying, hey, well, until recently when he started calling himself yeah, he said, the GOAT. He's a GOAT. And then Steph Curry yeah, said he's, a, then, Steph but, Curry but said he's the greatest then, point guard ever. I'm saying, I'm saying, but before then, when a young LeBron was young LeBron saying he's trying to be better than Michael Jordan, or was he just appreciating Michael Jordan's game? Now, well, I'm going to get you right here. All these players have come in the league now and say who they better than from the past. Like Steph Curry says, I'm the greatest point guard ever. Put himself over Magic Johnson and stuff like that. LeBron said he's the GOAT. He's better than all these guys in NBA history. So that's why I think we compare this stuff because these guys are saying it out their own mouth. They're saying they're greater than the guys that came before them. They're saying that this era is greater than those guys. You can even see Kevin Garnett talking about how he thinks this guy may be better than, than that guy. So this is how, like, I think that this is how we always compare it. I know Mars and, and some other guys may not like it that way because they think that it kind of takes away or dilutes from the guys in this era that, are, that we're watching now. But I think we, we gauge it like that because I think that, when you see a certain level of greatness in your life and you see other players, you kind of want to see, OK, do I feel like this player is on the other player's level or better than him? And we use that as a barometer, in my opinion, bro. Which, by the way, Damo, we didn't hear. I'm really quick. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, Damo, we didn't hear Jabal calling himself the GOAT. We didn't hear Jordan calling mm -hmm. himself the GOAT. We didn't hear these dudes. That was for us to debate with, with, with each other. These dudes are doing that now. Even though older guys like myself, we do compare them to the younger ones. We didn't hear them. We, we didn't hear older guys like myself. We compare them, the younger guys, to the older guys. We didn't hear them doing that. So I think that's a little bit different today too. Look, I, I think comparing players is, is fine and all, right, especially across era. I think that conversation always existed. I think one, a couple things. One, I think players today are a little more out there and saying that, I'm the LeBron saying I'm the best. I'm the best who's ever played. Steph Curry says I'm the best point guard. One, we just live in a culture where all those kind of quote unquote barbershop talks that used to take place before, let's say behind the camera. Now there's just so many shows, social media and outlets where everything's more in the open and they're constantly being asked that question every single day that, you know, at some point it's like, all right, let me just, let me just answer the question. Right. The same things were happening before, like you said, but I just don't think that Jordan, Kim Olajuwon, Kareem and all those guys, they were probably having those conversations to themselves. Maybe be like, you know what, I'm the best. You're the best. whatever the case may be. It just wasn't on camera. But that's not. Hold on, that's not true, Jalen. Nobody oh, asked okay. was he the goat. He he came out and said that he won the twenty. Take it, take it, but we we understand. Come on, every interview, LeBron basically for after since he's let's say since he's won since 2016. Every single interview, whenever the conversation of the great player about that, no, no, but that's you, because he, he said go, it. He gets asked that all the time. No, 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 but Jalen, that that's time. because hold on, Jalen, Jalen, respectfully, that's because he said it. So they asked him this. He came in 2016. Nobody asked him about that. He's cause Chris Roussard said this on my channel when I did an interview with Chris Roussard. He said Rich Paul ran down to him at mm -hmm. on the court before he was going on live 
and told him to go on TV and say LeBron's the GOAT. He said, hell no, I'm not finna do that. I don't think he's better than Jordan. Chris, you I'm go check on my brother. Look. Chris, we, Chris we, hold on. Chris Broussard told me that. And then he and then he said when he didn't do it, LeBron went down there himself and said, I'm going. Hey man, you want something done? Go do it yourself, you know? No, that's, cr- that's crazy. That's what, that, 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 that's, 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 that's so that's crazy. what I'm saying. Like, nobody was asking him about that. People was having those conversations. We're the ones who had those conversations. So I think that, like, what Mar said that he thinks it messed I think it kind of helps the game because it helps. The reason why I think it helps Mars is because it helps keep the other guys' names alive, too, that came before. Like, I, look, me and Chittown go at it every single day. YouTube basketball scene ain't basketball scene without guys like Chill because Chill keeps the OGs alive. If it wasn't for guys like Chill, these guys, bro, we wouldn't even be. Chill has so much knowledge about the game when you talk about the OGs and stuff. You, I appreciate what he brings with all of the knowledge that he continues to keep, and he keeps them interlocked with the young guys. That way, these other guys who are just listening and don't know basketball. They learn something different every day listening to Chill Town. I learn something different listening to this clown every day, even though I'm a cook his ass <laughs> on the 23rd. But I, I'm serious, though. It's a, it is a blessing to the game to have guys like that and to have those conversations to keep those guys' names alive who pay, who paved who paid the streets and, 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 and laid out the red carpet for these guys to have what they got today. Mars, what I'm telling you, Mars, and I'm telling you this specifically, Mars, and you had, you had mentioned about trolling. Mars, I'm telling you, man, in 20 years, in 25 years, you, the stuff that you know, you're going to have to pass this on to other people. You're going to have to pass this because somebody, because you, your nephew, your, 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 your son is going to tell you that Kobe Bryant was a plumber. I'm telling you that right now. He's going to tell you that, yo, who the hell was Gilbert Arenas? Damian Lillard was playing against this guy and that guy, and you're going to want to strangle him. So it's, it's going to be you in 25 years looking like this. Not as good looking though, but looking like this mm. and having to tell people and having to tell your family and friends and keeping these dudes that come up when you came up, you're gonna have to you, you're gonna have to keep their names. I gotta explain to people who Alex English is, and I'm like, you don't know Alex English? Have a seat. Let me let me, let, let me explain something to you real quick. Let me I, I learn. Touch in, in words I want to touch on Damo's point too. I want to touch on Damo's point too in terms of when he says in other sports when we talk about players. Mm-hmm. Look, another yeah. discussion where I'm t- when we're talking about Tiger Woods versus Jack Nicklaus. We're talking about Roger Federer versus Pete Sampras for a time in other sports. It was a lot more appreciative of what Jack Nicholas did and what Pete Sampras did and what Federer did and what Tiger Woods did in turn, rather than just kind of tearing down of players or destroying them like in basketball. There is more in other sports. It is we could compare and understand the greatness of both and be like, all right, who's a little better? Who's a little this while well, in basketball? Oh, he couldn't do this. He's shitty. He's terrible. He's There's a lot more of that in basketball of tearing down the other guy to bring up your own guy versus kind of understanding both are great and simply stating what the guy does better. So I do think in basketball discourse, why that is, maybe there's a difference in terms of um, uh, in terms of respect for the past, I will say this: I do think sometimes in basketball conversations we are a little more disrespectful of the past. Like in baseball conversations, we're not disrespecting guys like Babe Ruth, Willie Mays, and those guys. Babe like, Ruth and them guys disrespect. get disrespected. Yeah, the, the way that you know sometimes maybe a Jerry West is disrespected. In some but case. you, well, you know what though? I'll you know what that. though, Jalen? I think a lot of that. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, um, especially like in this part of the world. Um, we're most of we're, we're playing basketball, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, um, like, uh, like how you were talking about tennis, like, yeah, res- respect Andre Agassi, respect those guys. But we're not really paying, we're not playing tennis. So, when we go to the barbershop, everybody, everybody in the barbershop thinks they're a hooper, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We all, we all, we all played some high school ball, some of us played a little college ball, but we all get it in at the park sometimes. We, we play, um, at, at LA Fitness, so we all think we, you know, we take it a little more personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, nah, well, I'm better than you, so my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of them type things. That's what I think. I think it's because most of us are, are most of us consider ourselves hoopers. You know what I'm saying? So we like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> we take it more personal. We think we know the ins and outs of the game because of that. that that's true. I, I think definitely so. think basketball be, people, just be more played in the park. More people have more of an opinion because you can say a lot more people yeah. play it rather than that. Yeah, you saying they're not playing tennis at the park? That's crazy. Man. <laughs> nah, I try. I, I want. I wanted to play. I wanted to play tennis when I was in like the eighth grade. My pops wouldn't let me though. He like. Nah. Okay. I do want to say. I think I, I do agree with everything everyone said, but I think like that's what makes our platform here. What make I think is where I don't want to say we're doing a disservice. I don't think we are, but I think we could definitely do it. But we got guys like Chill. We got guys like Fluent. We got guys like Ticket. We got guys like Ops. You have seen the nineties, the two thousands, Chill, the nineteen twenties. Like we we've seen everything. So. Like, we don't need to speak 
down on the current players in comparison to the older players to uplift them. We can have conversations about how good Adrian Danley was or how good Tim Hardaway Sr. was or how good Kevin Johnson was without having to instantly say, Kevin Johnson was so good. That's why he's better than Russell Westbrook. Like we don't need to, we don't need to tear down the current players. And it goes the reverse way as well. We don't need to say, we don't need to talk about um, guys like Jason Tatum and then use him to be like, well, he's better than Carmelo Anthony because he don't like, we don't need to do that either. We don't need to tear down the old players to big up the current players either. We can just praise the current players and then not have to compare them to old players all the time and then praise the old players and not have to bring down the current players to praise the old players. I think we can do both without having to tear down the other one. That's where I think we mess up. And not just us, I think the big media platforms, all of them, we don't need to be so negative to praise the people we want to praise. If we want to praise Kobe Bryant, we don't have to tear down Tracy McGrady's career in order to do so. If we want to praise Tracy McGrady, Thank you, we don't have to tear down Kobe's career in order to do so. If we want to talk about how great Steph Curry is, we don't need to compare him to Magic Johnson to do so. Even if Steph Curry himself said he thinks he's the best point guard ever, sure, we can have the conversation. We can talk about why they were both so great. and um, Maybe Magic Johnson's better because he did this, or maybe Steph Curry's better because he did this. We don't need to just talk about all their failures and be like, well, oh, this guy failed more than this guy. So clearly he can't be, we don't need to just be so negative all the time. Because I think we lose what makes these players so great and why we enjoyed watching them so much. Because everything we say about them is so negative and I think that's where we go wrong. And I'm definitely guilty of this. And I'm not trying to say I'm not, I'm just not saying it's everyone else's fault but me. I've done the same thing when it comes to guys like Alan Iverson, I'm comparing it to James Harden. I've done the same thing and I, I'm guilty of that. And I'm, I guess I'm actively trying to make a change and maybe I'm saying we should all try and look to make Do change. better, do better. Yeah. I gotta do better. Do better. Um, I'm good, Dabo. Do better. Yeah, do better. I'm not gonna lie, man. Hey. Uh, Mars, you spitting, man. We definitely just need to stop just comparing everybody to each other and just let guys coexist. Just like tonight. Just like tonight. Um, there's gonna be a battle of two phenomenal great young point guards. But sadly, because of the platform that we have and uh how hey man, somebody gotta be right. One of three things is gonna happen. Oh, you want to be, oh, you wanna be funny? Oh, well, hey, oh man, Damo, I can't even. I'm going to be, hey, Damo, Damo, uh, Damo, I'm going to be right. Because it's double or nothing tonight, baby. This double or nothing. You weren't here yesterday. This, this fool put double or nothing tonight. So, Damo, I'm going to be right. And John Morant, Damo, whoo-hoo. Ba hey, hey, baby, you know how they said in the movie, Damo, when he shot that thing, baby, and, and, and white man can't jump? He said, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it's so, so pretty. So pretty. How you say, how you say it, baby? Hey, Don, what's the double up tonight? Just so y'all know. See that? Run me my money. Absolutely. But with that being said, just so y'all know, when he held that hand up and said it's pretty, it's so pretty, he lost that bet. I just want to put that out there. Let Damo finish. Damo still was thinking. He got hustled. He lost the pick, too. He lost the pick, too. <laughs> he lost it. He lost the chick too, but he won in the end, though. Remember when he won in the end, Damo? And he went back looking for the chick, and she was gone. She Damo, was gone. continue. Like she, des she deserved. She deserved to go on and live her life, man. He was fucking up the bed. Was, man, never mind. Go ahead, Damo. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot what I was gonna say. That didn't matter. Tonight's game, well, Damo. That's what we're talking about. Tonight's Terry's game, Halliburton, Between John Moran, Tyrese Halliburton, you know, Halliburton and John Moran. That's what we're talking about. Y'all know what Damo is going to say. We're talking about Tyrese Halliburton yeah. and John Moran. We're talking mm. about the Indiana Faces with the worst defense in the NBA. Ja, in the words of Jay-Z, allow me to reintroduce myself. Mm. So that's what Ja is basically doing right now. Because y'all forgot about me. Y'all did. Now, but, don't get me wrong. But don't, you, don't, you, don't you think the NBA is starting to get kind of played out, though? What sense? Way. It's like it's it's like a soap opera now. You know what I'm saying? Like like I was talking about this last night. Like used to be like when my granny or my mom would be watching like hey, you know <laughs> Days of Our Lives and General Hospital. Like shit ain't Great even shows. basketball no more. This shit is like you know what I'm saying? Is it's it like, the, the soap opera part? It's the like drama. one life. It's like one life to live. It's, but shit the is drama whack. part, like, though, big eyes, That's part of it. That's that's part of that. That's part of the basketball. Don't don't get don't don't get sidetracked with the drama. And leave out what's going on on the court. Don't mm. don't let that fool you, because the drama is part of the basketball. That's the entertainment part of it. But at the end, it's, get, this is it's still it's, get, it's getting in the way, though, Chill Town. No, it's and, not. You know, uh -oh. it's, it's getting in the mm. way. It's it's, I, it's really Bob, pitiful. I, I, I don't I don't think it gets in the way because at the <clears> end of the day, ticket tickets gonna talk his John Morant talk. Me and Damo gonna talk our Halley talk, and mm. they gonna have to lace them up and get it in tonight. So it it, it can't get in the way because they still gotta see each other. It's not like they're gonna stop stop the game at, at 
halfway through the second quarter and be like, well, hold on, hold on. The storyline said this, so you got to do this and you got to do. No, they got to actually play each other. They got to fade, just like in boxing. It's it's a storyline leading up to that that big fight, and once it's the prize fight, y'all gotta y'all gotta tie up them gloves and go head to head. So like the the, the storyline I mean, is cool, but. You you still got to create the, the storyline still has to be finished at the end of the day on the court. Ron, it's like last night, for instance. Even before we start getting our asses kicked, when we were still when we were still winning the game, we were still winning the game, bro. I I had to watch. I had to watch. Uh, I had to watch OU versus um Villanova. Nah, nah. OU was playing uh UNC. Then I had then I had to watch Alabama Alabama play uh. Arizona. Damn. Arizona. I was wa- I was watching the Bayou Barbie. I was hey, I was Bob. watching Ellis. I was watching Ellis. Why, 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 why are you watching Duke versus Baylor? I was watching. I was watching. I was watching LSU versus Coppin State. Wow. You know, hey, hold on. You know why Bob was watching? And this is and this is and this is before and this is before we start getting our ass kicked. This is before we start getting our ass kicked. We was actually Bob like watching Bob. We was watching the ladies. Bob like watching them ladies chill town. You know what it is, man. I don't. Hey, I don't blame him, man. I don't blame him. Hey, let me ask y'all one question. No, I'm not a. Per- I'm not a pervert. I'm a. You, bad, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm with you, Bob. I'm with you, Bob. I'm with you, Bob. I feel you. But let me ask y'all a question too about this stuff. Do y'all think that the plans now have been diverted for Bronny? Have y'all watched Bronny's first few games? Uh yeah, I mean he's definitely not you know lead, leading the league, putting the league in fire in college. And definitely you know still he's way back not better than anybody in the NBA. Yeah, he's definitely probably not better than anyone in the NBA for sure. No, no, um, I can't. But do you think that changes the plans now? Like, do you think that he will even make the NBA? Or? Yeah, I, I think they're gonna see how he improves throughout the season. Maybe by the end of the season, last five, ten games, if he's playing thirty minutes, if he's play you know putting up 10, 15 points a night, then we can have the conversation. But right now, I think he's probably gonna come back for a oh, year. Maybe you just said, you said the last. You said if he puts up ten in the la- or fifteen in the last five games of the season, that should get no, him in the end. No, no, I said maybe maybe last ten games of the season where he's playing more minutes, his game obviously coming back from the injury, getting his legs underneath him. If we see more of a consistent player where he's averaging, let's say ten to fifteen points a game, couple of rebounds, couple of assists. Well, thing with Bronny, even if he makes the NBA, he's going to be kind of like a three and D guy. He's not going to be some superstar. Whatever. He's going to play excellent defense, which is there. Like his defense is actually phenomenal. He's staying in front of guys and he's going to hit open shots when he needs to. He's not going to be. Hold on, Jalen. Hold on, hold on, Jalen. Jalen, hold, hold on one second. But Damo, Mark, do y'all think that he's NBA material? Just, I just want to hear y'all's answer. Right he could not be. Right he's, now. Only, he's, only yeah. he's only 18. He's only 18. I, I, I he's, a he's, he's a freshman in college, bro. If you, if you, no, 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 no. I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. Look, look, look. I'm answering your question. He's only 18. He's a freshman in college. Everybody's not going to be one doubt, Hold on. I'm not done, Bob. All right, bro. But hold on. You, you said, do I, do I think he's going to be in the NBA? So go, let go, me go answer ahead. the question. I think that he's only 18. This is his freshman year in college. He's not going to be one and done like everybody, you know, thinks he should be. If the kid if the kid develops in the next three years and goes out as a junior, I don't see I don't see why he can't get – No, that's my, no that's my point to you, Bob. The whole question was because they were saying, like, the reason why Brown was holding on playing more years – is that like this year he wanted to play with Bronny next year? So I was asking y'all, do y'all think that Bronny is going to have to stay, or do y'all think they're going to let him come out and they're well, just going well, to put the him in the, 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 the issue with that ticket is this. Bron, regardless if he wants to wait for his son or not, if you're playing at this level, you're not retiring. I don't think he's playing at this level because he's waiting on Bronny. I think he's playing at this level because he's a beast. And he got and he got he, he still got more tread on the tires. Whether whether Bronny's ready or not, Bronny ain't going nowhere. Not this year, probably not next year. And that's not that's not because Bronny is being waited for. I think it's because Braun is is the goat. So he gonna he gonna play until he's done playing. And if Bron and if Bronny gets good enough in the next season, two seasons, three seasons, he gonna come play with pops. But in the meantime, Bron gonna keep dominating the NBA. Um, to answer your question, ticket. Uh, yes, I do think he's an NBA talent. Uh, uh, I, I don't think your numbers are indicative to you getting to the NBA wholeheartedly. I think your actual talent, your skill set, your physicals will allow you to do that. If Bronny gets in good enough shape, he gets his legs back under him by the end of the season, and he goes through the draft process, if his physicals are definitely good, if his shot-making ability is there, if he can defend, I don't know why he couldn't go in the second round. Now, do I think he's a top-five pick or a lottery pick? Probably not. But I do think he can get drafted. We're seeing guys that have been drafted that put up terrible college numbers. So I don't think the college numbers are is what's going to get him drafted. I think it's his ability. 
then I do think his NBA skill sets is his defense, his shooting, and I think he's a pretty good damn athlete for uh, the size guard that he is. That's going to get him to the NBA. Uh, right, right. No, no, no. I'm, 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 no, I'm feeling where you. I'm feeling where you're coming from. I was just more so. Do y'all think that? Because y'all told me the other day before he played his first game. I think it was you and Mars that was specifically saying like, do y'all think he could go out after this year? Even if he just had average like eight, eight, nine points this year, y'all thought that he could go in the draft. And I, I kind of agree with that because I seen rookies who came out of college that went right to the league, like that was averaging those numbers. They may have made like an all rookie team or something like that, and the league saw their potential. But I, I was just asking you guys, like, chill y'all too, like from watching his game so far, from what you've seen, I've seen potential, I've seen flashes of good potential with him. I've seen the athleticism, I've seen his defense. Uh, he can shoot the ball. He just doesn't get a high volume of shots right now because of his situation. Uh, that's why I was asking y'all, do y'all really think that they could pull it off without there being a, how should I say, a major uh, backlash from just the overall media about this? Because I'm seeing a lot of media members, like, refraining from saying something because they don't want to, I guess, take LeBron off. Now, remember, Ticket, where we at. We, we're, we're, we're in 2023. 2024 is coming up. And this league is way younger than what it was in years past. So guys get drafted today on potential. They don't get drafted on what they do now. They get drafted on what they're going to be. I've seen guys get drafted who average, I think it was just last season or a year before, last season or the year before that, kid from Alabama. He was a rotation guy. He averaged eight points. I think he was a top 12 pick in the draft. So you got guys today getting drafted solely on potential, not off what they actually can do. It's what they're going to do. This kid that Orlando drafted black black is drafted on what he's going to do. And he's actually turning out to be a really good pro. Like from the, from the, from what I've seen, he's actually turning out to be a really good pro, but a lot of these kids are getting drafted where they, where they have them and they sock them away. I mean, they, they, they sock them away. Like CJ McCullough, CJ McCullough, I don't think he played the first two years. He was up in Portland and this guy played four years of college. So, you know, a lot of these guys, I think today are getting drafted more on potential than they are what they actually can do. So, so you think you think it could be a chance that he gets he gets drafted, but then plays G League games as well. Yo, ticket. I, let's call it. Let's call a spade a spade for real. Bronny's gonna get drafted, and part of it's gonna be due to his ability to play. Part of it's gonna be due to his potential, and part of it's gonna be due to politics and the politics. Whereas the team is trying to get LeBron James. Let's just call a spade a spade. The boy going to get drafted uh, in large part because of his dad. And especially there's nothing wrong with that. Especially considering Thanasis, what? what? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's other players, too, that you, you sign somebody because you're trying to get their buddy or you're trying to get their brother or whatever it may be. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with playing politics. And I don't think it's nothing wrong with talking about it. If If I'm... I don't know if I'm if I'm the New York Knicks, for instance, I'm drafting Bronny. If I got a late first round pick, if I got if I got a, the 21st pick and Bronny's on the table, hey, it's a chance that that picks a flop anyways. On top of that, I do. I'm, I'm with Damo. I believe that Bronny can't has. has so you're, to wait, hold on. So you're taking, Bron you're taking Bronny. Yeah. Even if you have a chance to get a way better draft pick and help your team. At, at 21, who's going to be yeah. way better? If I pick it in the 20s, I'm taking Bronny because I get LeBron with me. And any, every team in the 20s is a pl essentially a playoff team. Let's say, no, I'm, just asking, I'm, just, I'm just asking, Ron. I'm just asking, yeah. like, if you have a, if there's a, bet, a player that you think is a better impact player, are you guys, Mars, you guys all taking a chance on Bronny and taking a chance that you could get LeBron? Or y'all going to say, nah, I'm going with this young talent who I think is going to be, who's going to pan out. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a team really drafted oh. in the 20s, my fault, Mars. If I'm a team drafted in the 20s, and I and again, I'm just speaking specifically for me. I'm a team drafted in the 20s. I'm already going to get a point guard unless someone has fallen from grace out of the lottery. That is an impact player. If it's not that, if it's a guy that okay, he's slightly a uh, taller, he shoots the ball slightly better. You know, he he's a slightly better playmaker. I still need a guard to play defense, and I can get LeBron. Nah, and it's a chance I can get LeBron. Not even I can get LeBron. I, it's a chance I can get LeBron. I'm gonna take Bronny. I, there's no reason why I wouldn't take Bronny. I, it would have to be like a Cam Whitmore situation. It would have to be like a, and I, I don't want to say it, but it, it's going to sound crazy, like a bowl bowl draft situation where, oh, this guy is just falling. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just falling. Like, why, why is he falling? It has to be that. Speaking of, speaking of, speaking of and not to cut you off, Jalen, but speaking, speaking of Ronnie, are we going to talk about the Lakers losing 40 last five games? And it's not how looking super, good. How super whack they've looked 
That's you see Alex game. Caruso? You, you see Alex Caruso? I see yeah. Alex Caruso last night, Mars, and he looked damn good as a defender. So I mean, are, are, are we gonna? I, I wanted to. I want to talk about what I saw yesterday with Minnesota and Philly defensively. But when I watched the Lakers last night, I mean, and and I didn't even. I was on Bob's page. I didn't even watch long. I mean, I was watching this team, and I'm like, I. This is corny to watch. It is because I see the same thing over and over again with this team. I see not a lot of energy. I see turning over the basketball. I see them depending on LeBron James to have to do everything. I see guys underperforming. D'Angelo Russell looks in and out of the offense. Anthony Davis, who I expected to dominate yesterday, considering that he's from Chicago. So with that being said, I expected them to I expected them to be better against an inferior Chicago Bulls team. And now they got to turn around and go to Minnesota tonight where I expect them to get whooped. I do. I expect them to get served tonight. Chill talk. Can I ask you a question? You just did. Third quarter. Can I ask you two questions? I'm sorry. Well, three. God damn it. Oh, it's never in cycle. All right. Third quarter. Anthony Davis goes down because of injury. LeBron turns the ball over. Lakers are down six. They go into timeout and they come out of the timeout right. with Rui Vando. <laughs> what was it? Rui Vando, Torian Prince, yeah. Gabe Vincent, and was it Austin Reeves? Yeah. And give up crazy run. Crazy run in the quarter, and we're in a shitty situation. I just want to ask because, again, I've been dubbed the guy who just punches down on Darvin Ham and blames him. That's a terrible Chill line. town. Yeah. Chill town. Do That's I blame Damari Carroll? <laughs> do I blame Phil Phil Hardy? Do I Phil blame Hardy. Jeannie Buck? Who do I blame That's for that lineup I see? Because I don't want to just come out here screaming all these terrorists, guys, because That's I want to give him grace. Line. Because, hey, he made a couple good coaching decisions in the damn midseason tournament, so I was supposed to give him grace. So now that we're on a slide, I don't want to just punch down because I said I'm turning the lead. So, Chilltown, who should I blame in that situation? That's a t- I will tell you this. That's a terrible lineup. I'm not going to fight that part. Mm-hmm. That, that, mm-hmm. that is a terrible mm-hmm. lineup. And mm-hmm. the fact <laughs> The mm-hmm. fact that they, the fact that they weren't scoring, right? The fact that they weren't scoring and they were giving up a lot of buckets. They were trying to get some defense on the floor. That's what they were trying to. They was trying to slow down the Chicago Bulls because the Chicago Bulls had actually had it going. So I can understand the rotation of, I can understand of getting these guys on the floor for a couple of minutes. But I think that them, it, it, it was it was a bad rotation, and I really have no. I, I really have no no answer for that, Domo. It's not no, Genie's no. fault. I know. I know it's that it's not Genie's fault. Hey, I wish I, could, I, wish, I wish I could, I wish I could give you an answer for that because I was don't. Jackson that, Hayes hurt. That, that was Hayes hurt? No, he was not. No, what, he was not. Was Christian Wood hurt? No, he was not. Oh, he so why did hurt. I have to? Why did I have to see Rui Hachimura at the five again? Why are we going back to the cycle? Why? Why? I don't get why you're going against um, the best rebounder of the last decade and going small. Hey, first Butch was in, then yeah. they put Drummond in, and we keep Rui in the game at the five. And at the five, the by the way. Literally, they're trying to pick on him. And I was surprised they didn't score as much as they wanted to in that matchup. Literally just tried to pick on him, and we're running small ball against a team not going small. She was telling me we had this conversation. All this, the three-guard small ball lineup stuff, that works against small teams, but there's a big on the court at all times. Why are we running small? Again, well, Gabe Vincent got I, switched on too. Gabe Vincent got switched on to Andre Drummond like three or four times. I'm like, get, get Gabe Vincent. Bro. Hey, welcome back, Gabe Vincent, man. Get Gabe, get Gabe Vincent. Yeah. Yeah. He, he ain't gonna be there long. He ain't gonna be there long. That contract's gotta go. I think we all yeah, understand that this, this roster's not winning a championship. So Rob Polinka in the deadline is gonna have to make a trade of probably a fairly significant. Oh no, not for the great LeBron no. James. Uh, 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 Dilo's uh, not working out. Dilo's not consistent. No, 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 no. You're not. Hey, no, no. You were just a dude in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This man was here, Ron, two weeks ago when they won a tournament championship with pom-poms on saying, yeah, we're going to win the chip. Now, two weeks later, since they got the all hell beat out of them, now all of a sudden you got to make another trade? And don't you know LeBron James has the, he has 118 trades on his watch? Kobe had 56, Mike had 36. I mean, different eras, different times, comparing. Man, uh, get out of here. We comparing. Uh, no, we count the number of trades for yeah, him? Yeah, we, we, we comparing trade numbers now. That's a new <laughs> thing. I ain't going to lie. That's crazy. new. That's crazy. Damo, we gotta, hey, Damo, we got Damo. We got to count it, Damo, because shouldn't it be a trade limit for each player? <laughs> no, it shouldn't. It's called. What? No. <laughs> trade limit for it be a trade. They should have, like, a trade app. Or each. And, 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 and this and this is what I and this and this is what I want you to make. I want to make sure we clear on this, Damo. Those 118 trades, 
He says he's responsible for every last mm. one of them. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. He should be. All he should be. Is it trade for a second round pick for whatever? Well, he, so he, so he, he was responsible for getting Kyrie Irving out of there, right? He mm. was responsible for the whole roster getting flipped over and then getting flipped over again. He was responsible for all of that. So, and you know what? I was and I blame him for every dumb trade he made. Every dumb trade he made, I'm better, right? They said he made it. I wish I wish you was the commissioner for just like two, three seasons, bro. <laughs> commissioner oh, NBA, oh, like, 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 hey, 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 that'd be fire, free. but hey, that I might enjoy the NBA again. Listen, if I was a commissioner, I clean all this boo boo up. Hey, hey, wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to if I was a commissioner, you wouldn't be able to add no trades to the off season. If I was a commissioner, you would only have a certain cap of trades that you could have for each season. If I was a commissioner. You could only have a certain amount of superstars that you sign to one team in an off season, or excuse me, at a time. You could only have two superstars on each team that you sign. Everything else had to be homegrown. If I was a commissioner, man, man bro, this the whole NBA would be better. Take, be a whack in season tournament. Take, with take tournament it, do your champion. trades roll over? Say, what do you mean? If you, if you don't, if, 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 nah, if you don't, ain't use no them. trades rolling over. Nah, nah, nah. Every summer no is a trade. Trades. It's pro season. Because I, hey, listen, Ron. You can't What's do it that? overseas. Think about that. Overseas, I don't know, I, I don't know overseas, why everybody getting mad at LeBron players. James. I don't know why everybody getting mad at LeBron for playing the GM when he gave his first seven years being the mm. the typical NBA superstar. I'm gonna let my team handle it. I'm gonna let don't my team do it. And then, no, don't no, 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 don't, don't, no, no, no. He sat there while he was in Cleveland as a young guy. He's seen Kobe Bryant get mad at his front and say, hey, I want the hell out of here. I'm going to buy this house in Chicago because I want out because I'm fed up. And then the Lakers did what he wanted. So LeBron James sat by for seven years and just let stuff happen. When nothing happened, he said, Bet, let's change this stuff up. Let's mm -hmm. do what do you mean I'm going to be the change I want. So now he's going to put it in his hands. And if it's wrong, if he does the wrong decision, guess what? We're going to blame him for that. If he has a bad that's trade, right, LeBron, that's a bad trade. No, that's not, I'm telling you. The they West got LeBron, Anthony Parker, no, 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 that was terrible. No, 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 Damo, Damo, Damo respectfully, hold on, Damo. I can't blame LeBron for that. I can't blame Damo, LeBron James for the first Damo. seven years of his career when the team didn't put nobody but old Ben Wallace and old Shaq around him. Mm. I can't get mad at LeBron. Hold on, but you're, hold on, Damo, but respectfully, you're lying. I can't get mad at LeBron for making trades himself, bro. Respectfully, you're lying, though. Respectfully, you're lying. Here's why. Because you said they didn't try and do nothing. What they did was they had the second highest pay payroll in the NBA. That's the Cleveland true. Cavaliers. So hold on, let me say, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 chill town, wait, chill town. Go ahead, go ahead. And during those times, <laughs> both seasons in a row, they had the best record in the league. They won over 66 games, 60 games, both those years. They also had the coach of the year, who was just the coach of the year again with the Sacramento Kings. So he ain't no fluke. They also had the MVP, and they had multiple All-Stars with him and uh, Mo Williams on that team. So, and, and I'm going to say oh, it like ball. this, right? And that was hold on. That was in a league where you was hard pressed to get two all stars on each team. The only teams that had two all stars was teams like Shaq, Kobe, and the, and Tim Duncan and the, and the Spurs. No other, not many other teams had two all stars on teams each like team. So, One those teams super high in the rankings when that happened. Like when you got multiple all stars, like with Mo Williams being another all star, wasn't that because the Cavaliers were the one seed that year? Right, right, no, no, that's my hold on, hold on, but that's my hold on, that's my hold on. Is that not the hold on, 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 but you're making my point. And so Damo, my point is, is that my point. Hold on. My point is, is that he did have. Hold on, Damo. My point is, is that my point is, is this, Damo. My point is, is that from when he went to the NBA Finals, that whole roster was flipped over, turned over, and it helped them get 66 wins, 60 wins. They just came up short in the playoffs. Or Damo, just so, you, hey, Damo just, just so you know, Damo, that 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 that. Mo Williams All Star, you, you are aware that that's the only year he made the All Star. Yes. Because he I played with LeBron James. That's cool. And and that not, was that not, hey, he was playing phenomenal. Was that not the same Cavaliers team that was a one seed at that time? Were they not a one seed? 66 wins. 66 wins. Yeah, but that's because of how good his roster was. 
or because how good LeBron James was in LA. No, no, no. That's the case. Hold on, Jalen. 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 Hold on, Jalen. If that's the case, why no. did all those other teams? I am Michigan going to play? destroy oh, this dude on Saturday. I am going to wreck this dude. I'm 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 asking your son. I'm asking your son real quick. Wreck this dude. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking your son real quick, Jalen. I'm asking your LeBron James Jr. son. So, so Jalen. So what I'm yeah. asking you is this. So that if that's the case, if you said it was all because of LeBron, mm -hmm. well, ask Mars this. Ask anybody. Why didn't LeBron win 60 games, Jalen, any of those other years except for those two years then when he was what, in Cleveland? What was Cleveland? What was Cleveland's record what? after LeBron James left? I didn't ask you that. I, hold on. I, I'm, Jay, I'm, Jay, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm Jay, asking you again. Jay, 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 we're not doing semantics. Hold on, Jalen. Jalen. We're not doing semantics. Hold on, Jalen. We're not doing semantics. All the years LeBron was there, up until those two years, if it was just all about LeBron, why did they win 60 or 66 games any of those other years before they won those 66 okay, games? Okay, well, well a, a couple things. Hold on, a couple things. One, sure, LeBron had, you could say, a decent team around him, but LeBron James himself contributed to those 60-win teams. His impact towards that was greater than any player in the league. So those 66 win teams is because he – No, so, uh, no, but you didn't answer my question. Though. I asked you why, why, why no, 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 years before that because you said it was mainly about him. Why didn't hold on? Why didn't the years before that? Why was he only winning like 48 games, 49 games? Why wasn't he winning 66 games and 60 games? Well, a couple things. Why he got better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with this ticket. I ain't got nothing to do with this ticket. Yeah, ticket, ticket. LeBron got better as a basketball player from year one to when he won 66 games. So hold on. So let me ask you this question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The roster got better. You said he got better. You said he got better too. You said he got better. Hold on. You said he got better, right? Yes. Okay. So if he got better, right, why did he lose less games when he went to Miami at first? Uh, his what? better talent. So his first season in Miami. No, I didn't ask you that. I asked you. In, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said his. You said he got better, but yes. when he got better talent, remember you complained about the talent. Oh, so that very next year when he got better talent, mm -hmm. he he won less games, right? Mm -hmm. So and don't say that was about chemistry because guess what? <laughs> that, 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 first, on, that first year he won sixty six games. That was the first year most of those guys had played with LeBron. But you didn't okay, say it was well, about chemistry then when he was winning games. So the first year in Miami, I think they started the season eight and nine. In the first 20 nine games, they were basically right. nine and eight, sorry, nine. Eight. So they're essentially 500. Because again, when you take three guys like that, they have to learn how to play together, understand their roles. And we're talking about the Cleveland. Now, even though they added new pieces, they still had kind of a known system around LeBron James and how they would play basketball because LeBron was there for four, five, six years at that point. So it's just two completely different circumstances. Okay, well, I understand. I mean, I, I disagree. Respectfully, I disagree. I think that you guys take away, and I think Marge would agree with me on that too. I think you guys take away from the role players and the guys they actually put around him because you have to put certain type of guys around LeBron. LeBron is the type of guy where it doesn't always work all the time if you put all these superstars around him, but it does work if you put complimentary role players around him that complement <clears throat> and he can do. Like, we like he's the only superstar that I know that you have to. Uh, with LeBron James, put specific players around him for him to be successful. Like if he don't have shooters around him and these type of players, he he can't win. But he <laughs> but he's supposed to be this he's supposed to be this all world superstar that can do all great things. But you have to put specific type of players around him that can play a specific type of way. Chris Bosh has to completely change his game to play with this dude. Kevin Love has to completely change his game to play with this dude. But at the same time, you discount those guys, but they had to change their games just so that they can fit into what he wanted to do on the court. But when you're supposed to be that great, you're supposed to be able to adjust and change your game, and your game's supposed to be able to, to adjust and change to any style. He can't do that. And I think I don't, that's where you, I don't think, that's I don't where think you discount. I don't think they were necessarily changing their games for LeBron James to do a thing. I think they were changing their games. So, so, hold on, so, so Kevin Love was averaging 27. Hold on. Kevin Love was averaging 27 and 13. Hold on. He was 27 and 13. He was mm -hmm. a post-up. He was yep. a post up guy who popped yep. who popped out. He yep. goes to LeBron James and turns to a pick and pop yep. three guy. Chris so Bosh was a Chris Bosh was a twenty three and to, and ten and eleven guy. Mm -hmm. He was a post up face up guy that yep. would attack the basket, occasionally shoot the midi. He turns into a pick and pop three point guy. You telling me they didn't completely change their games to play with LeBron? Let me tell you why. So Kevin Love was right, twenty seven or fourteen phenomenal numbers. He was that guy on a team that was missing the playoffs every year. Or were, I think did they lose the first round? Maybe they lost the first round. No playoff success. Chris Bosh in the Raptors. I was watching. Phenomenal guy. 24, 23, 24, and ten in, in his best season there. Phenomenal. Consistently losing in the first round or not making the playoffs. Then they go play with LeBron James. Consistently making the finals. 
winning championships become winners. So they understood that their games, yes, they had to tailor down their games to become a winner and a champion. And yes, you you can make you can say that they had to they had to change their game to play with LeBron James, but they understood that it's optimal for LeBron James to be the best player on that team and to play around him to win championships and win games, which is what you care about. Kevin Love is not putting twenty seven or fourteen so, so, on so, a championship. So, so, Kevin so, Love is not putting twenty seven or fourteen on a so, championship. So, so, hold on, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor cool. that proves how great. Hold on, that proves how great D Wade was because he was a champion. He was a guy who already and he was able to change his game to help LeBron James and still win a chip. But LeBron couldn't change his game. For anybody else to win a chip, is that right or wrong? No, no, no. Dwayne Wade didn't change his game. He took a reduced. Oh yeah, he did. Ask Mars. Ask Mars. Ask Mars. Ask Mars. Ask Mars. Ask Mars. Dwayne Wade simply had the ball less in his hands, and he understood for them to win, he had to push LeBron to the front because he understands that was the best for them to win. He didn't change his game. He just simply took a step back. There's difference. I just wanted to ask on because we're talking about LeBron's 61 teams. Can ticket? Can you tell me about the player? Like. Which players were the vital pieces that was helping that 61 team that, that you want to point out that LeBron was well, playing? Well, I thought with? all the pieces. In 2009, I, thought all, 2010. I thought all the pieces. Hold on. Well, I thought all the pieces for the Cavs those two years fit in perfectly. I thought that the role player – because, like, I think with LeBron, he's the type of guy that he's at his best. You can't have role players trying to do too much. He needs one mm-hmm. other guy that can do a lot, and then the other guys have to be guys who are 3 and D guys they can spread the floor and make everybody else pay if they clog down on him whenever he makes his move. So, and, and when you have dirty work guys who come in, you can rotate in and give you a Ben Wallace, give you a few minutes here, a few minutes there, get rebounds, do this, toughen up. When you have guys like an older Shaq who can uh, get you 10 points, 10 rebounds in the paint, a uh, couple block shots, limited minutes. When you have guys like Anders and Virgil that you can run in and out of the game who will give you energy, hustle work in some of those years, uh, one of those two years that they won 60, 66 games. Also, when you have guys like Mo Williams who was shooting 40% from the three, like Mars said, and uh, Jalen said that he was only all-star with LeBron James. Well, guess what, Jalen? Uh, Mo Williams was doing the same thing before he played with LeBron James when he played with the Milwaukee Bucks for two seasons, but you never gave him credit for that. But LeBron went and got him from Milwaukee because he saw how good Mo Williams was. Those are facts. So you can put that in your pipe and smoke it too. So then when you look down, hold on. When you look down that roster, you look at guys like Antoine Jameson, who came over from the Washington Wizards, who was a multi-time All-Star. Mars, no, I ain't lying. He was out there putting around almost 20 and 10 a game over there with Gilbert Arenas, Mr. Hibachi. You understand what I'm saying? And came over, kind of Took a little step back, average around 16, 17 points a game. What's good for what they were doing? Because he was the type of dude, he could shoot the little, he could shoot the, he could shoot the midi a lot. And he was getting a lot of flip shots in and around the basket. And so he didn't need to dominate the ball in order to be effective. The, to me, they had a perfect team. Uh the role. The problem was, and I'm gonna say this again, Damo. The problem was when they got to the playoffs, when they got to the playoffs. LeBron James that one year oh, against God. Orlando, hold on, that one year against Orlando, he balled out. But the one thing he didn't do that he did the whole season was make his teammates better. And in that series, I don't feel like he elevated his teammates as much as he did during the regular season. That's why I thought they lost that year. The other year they lost, I think they lost They lost to them and they lost to the Celtics. Two years they won 60 games. The reason why I think they lost to the Celtics, I just put that on LeBron James. I think he's supposed to close that deal. I just, so the, the Celtics weren't just a better team. Like I think that's those cast teams were actually good. Like those role players, that's fine. I'm giving that. I well, well no, I see that. But didn't Kobe, Celtics, hold on, because Orlando, they don't, hold on. But didn't Kobe wash that? Didn't Kobe wash them Celtics up? And then also he washed the Orlando Magic up. No, and he Kobe didn't had a, He did yeah. not wash the Celtics. He no, he didn't. Them. He also had Pau Gasol. No, 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 he was an MVP of the league. I mean, he was an MVP of the finals. And even though he didn't play well offensively in the closeout game, he still led the game in points. He still led the game in rebounds. He still led the game in assists. Mere bag of shells, sir. You um, let that I game in assists? I, I just want to, real, real quick, because hey, I only brought this up. This is I just, I, I just went back and looked at those 60 win Cavs teams and the, the 2008, 2009 team, 2009, 2010 team. Who's not really impressed with you? I really who's I really looked at that 2009-2010 team. Um, I'm not going to lie. Outside of Antoine Jamison, who was only there for 25 games in the regular season after the trade he got and playing in the playoffs, Antoine Jamison and Mo Williams were the only guys that seemed impressive. Everyone else, numbers-wise, and again, I can wholeheartedly agree, 
that numbers and actual production on the court looks different. You got guys hustling. You got guys doing things that don't show up in the stat sheet. So that, hey, you got defensive players. All those things matter. So I, I, I want to put that out there. I understand that, and I can understand that plenty of these players can genuinely have been those guys, and that's why it worked. Obviously, it worked. They won 60-plus games. But looking at that team numbers-wise, and only, only players – only players that look like – that looked impressive we're, 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 were really Mo quickly. Williams and, and, and Antoine Jameson. Everyone else is giving you – and what? Shaq gave you – Shaq played 53 games that season, and he gave you 12 points and six boards. Other than that, everyone's giving you sub-eight points. Everyone else and, is giving you sub-eight points coming off the bench, sub-eight points, five, six rebounds. So It doesn't look glossy on paper compared to – other players when you're looking at who they're playing with. Now, again, they had a ton of role players to just do a bunch of things, and LeBron James was able to lead them. That's why that team worked. They obviously weren't the worst team in the NBA. Right. But they definitely were beatable. They were not an unbeatable team. LeBron James at that time was not good enough to where you could just put a bunch of role players doing their job and no other star, and they just be unbeatable. That was a beatable team. Oh, okay, well, let me. I have one counter to that, and that's this. Here's my counter to that. Hey, and, after and this, know, we gotta Ron, keep it twisted. I, I, I got you, Ron. I got you, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. I got. I got. I'm born leader, never lead a block without my heater. Uh, check it out. I got some. I got some hot for this boy right here, Mars. You gonna love this. This, this, extra, this is extra. This is extra crispy right here. Now, since he said muted, that, right? Dama. He just named. Let him say on mute. He just named those guys, right, Ron? He just named those guys. Now, y'all remember this. That was on LeBron's team that he said outside of those two guys, Mo Williams and Antoine Jameson, he said he really couldn't see much of, I would say, anything. That's what he said, right? No one surprised so, me. It, it looked disappointing. Right, right, right. Well, yeah. Okay, cool. So, all right. So, let's let's stay on that right there. Let's stay on top of that right there, right? Okay, so cool. Go back to the same year where Kobe Bryant won 60 games too with Power the Soul, right? Outside of Kobe Bryant and Paul Gasol, sir, who else was doing well outside of Kobe Bryant, Paul Gasol? Because Bynum, didn't he get hurt? Only played fifty games. Wait, got what hurt year, the what year we talking about? What year we talking about? Hold on, hold on. We oh, we talking about the first year Kobe. Won. We talking about the first year Kobe won a chip without Shaq. So we talking oh, about oh, we talking about we talking about we talking about oh eight oh nine. Hold on, we talking about oh eight oh nine. So yep. so didn't Andrew Bynum only play fifty games that year and and missed the whole rest of the season and missed the NBA Finals the year before? Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't Andrew Bynum? Play only 50 games this year. And remember, the year before, he missed the whole NBA Finals. And that's the reason why Kobe lost that championship, in my opinion, because he missed that NBA Finals a year before when they played the Celtics, and it was just Paul Gasol getting beat up. So, But we ain't going to talk about that. So, Dan, let's also talk about his third best player, which was Lamar Odom. So, really, you had Paul Lama. Gasol and Lamar Odom. Hold on. So, mm -hmm. Odom played 78 games, and Gasol played 81. Gasol was only giving you 18.9 a game. Uh, Lamar Odom was giving you 11.3. So who else? Hold on. Who else was you impressed with? But guess what Kobe had that made that team great? This is why I was telling you about LeBron's teams. He had great role players. You had D. Fish. You had Ariza, even though he was averaging single digits. You had Jordan Farmer, who played his role. You had Fluke Walton, who did his little here and there. You had Vladimir <laughs> Radmanovich, who was on the team doing his thing. You had Sasha Vujicic, who only averaged 5.8 points, but he hit big threes in certain areas and was a good role player in certain parts of those runs. My whole point is this too. This Kobe's team didn't just jump off the table to you that year outside of those two guys he had with him, the main two guys, because Bynum was hurt 32 games that season. So when you look down the roster, mm -hmm. it was pretty much the same type of constructed rosters at that time for those two teams. I so here's a difference. I I would, I would no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, on Jalen. Here's a difference, Jalen. Kobe Bryant, Kahuna's was bigger. Period. Now we're talking about. Yeah, I don't think that was. I mean, oh, when, oh, when it was time, hold on. When it was, hold on. When it was war, hey, Ron, when it was war time, that's when that's when you saw who the men were and who the boys were. What, what did that go remember, to my point of? Same but when that the same team? Of, hold on. But when that go to my point of saying LeBron wasn't good enough at that point to where you put him on a team like that and they win, Kobe was like Kobe was good enough to do that. That's you put, the you put Kobe on that. You put Kobe on that cast. Hold on, no, no. But you put Kobe on that cast. Hold on, 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 hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Jalen, Jalen, let me ask you a question, Jalen. That logic doesn't work, Damo, because LeBron James was the MVP of the NBA those two years. What is that? What? Wrong. Try again. 
Yo, hold on. Yes. You wait, 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 wait. Ticket, 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 ticket. So you think every player that wins the MVP is the best player in the league that season? No, I'm saying your. Lo- I'm saying your logic so you used didn't work. But okay, so let me give you this, right? When well, LeBron James bad played bad. Orlando, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When LeBron James played Orlando, they played and lost to Orlando the year they won the sixty something games. They lost to, to Orlando without uh, uh, the point guard that was an All Star, uh, Jameer Nelson. Jameer Nelson. He was out. Uh-huh. He was out. They lost that series, right? Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. in that three, in that series, it was LeBron and a couple other guys, right? Nobody else averaged 20 in that series for LeBron. Well, when Kobe played the Orlando Magic in the finals, nobody else averaged 20 for Kobe. Kobe averaged 32 a game and, and beat him in what, five games, Mars? Mm-hmm. Am I speaking Mandarin? So that's my, my whole Kobe point. Kobe was better was than LeBron. That, so that so would be hold the on. So, uh, so Kobe was better than LeBron at that so, time. So you think? I mean, so do you think Kobe should have won the MVP that year? Hold on. You think Kobe should have won the MVP that year? Uh, no. LeBron James, I say, I think was better than. No, no. I don't think Damo. Damo, hold on. You didn't say it. Damo said Dwayne Kobe was Wade better than LeBron. Was better, Dwayne Wade was better than Kobe Bryant. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. you. Hold on. I'm whoa, asking you. Whoa, whoa, Jalen, 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 Jalen. No, 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 Jalen. Just be quiet. Damo, you're coming with a bad take. Just be quiet. Damo says. Damo, yeah, Damo. Hold on. No, no, no. Damo says that he thinks that Kobe Bryant was better than LeBron that year. So I'm asking Damo, do he think that that year, 0809? Where Kobe averaged 26.8, 5.2 rebounds, 4.9 assists, and uh what? Uh 1.5 skills per game. Do you think and they won 65 games? Do you think Kobe Bryant should have been an MVP that year? Because Braun, I think, won 66, Kobe won 65. No, it's man. arguable. No, it's not. Not. no, it's I not. Hey, okay, chill town, chill town. So, so, so let me say, hold on, yeah. chill town. Let me say this to you. And here's why I, here's why me and you we can do it over your bias. You guys can easily come in here and admit that you guys think. That the Eastern Conference was a weaker conference at that time. LeBron did win 66 games, but Kobe won 65 in the West Conference, yep. the tougher conference. And, and and for him to lead his team to win 65 games when he didn't have multiple All Stars on his team and All World players, he had Paul Gasol and role players basically. For you to say nah, no, but Damo says he thinks that Kobe was better than LeBron that year. For you to say that you still don't think he can win MVP, the man won sixty five games in the West. He did win sixty five games, and I know that we gotta. Like I said to y'all dudes, I'm gonna see this dude on Saturday, and I'm gonna eat this dude lunch, B. I mm. swear to God, I'm gonna eat I'm this dude you, for lunch. I'm you, I'm I ain't chill. saying I'm nothing good. else. I'm gonna eat this dude lunch no, on chill. Saturday. I'm just, yeah. chill, 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 Give me chill, chill. that 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 I'm that that chill, brown I'm plastic I'm bag. I'm, I'm no, snatching no, it out of his hand, do. and I'm gonna eat this dude that lunch. That has nothing to do with the bag. Chill, chill. You go, chill, chill. chill. You go, you go, snatch this brown paper bag out of his hand. No, no, no. This has nothing wrong. Ron, this yeah, has nothing crazy. to do with the debate. Hold on, he, Ron. He, he this has nothing to do with the debate. Hold on, Ron. Butter and jelly sandwich Ron, Ron your this your has face. nothing to do. Hold on, Ron. This has nothing to do with the debate. I just he, asked you to open question. up your bag of Doritos and crunch no, it in front of your no, face. No, no, no I, I, hold on, Ron. To answer your question, ticket. No, I do not. Answer your question, ticket. No, I do not think that Kobe. So, do you think? Do you think that Kobe was better? Do you agree with Damo? Do you agree with Damo saying Kobe was better than LeBron that year? Do you agree with Damo when he said that? In 2009, that Kobe Bryant was better than LeBron James. In 08, 09, year. you think Kobe was better than LeBron the year Bryant won MVP? I, 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 no. no I, okay, I, I so you not. agree with Damo. Okay, that's all. Chill down. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to argue with you on that. That's all I was asking. If you disagree with Damo, I understand your logic. I didn't understand your logic if you if you were to agree with Damo, but then say that you wouldn't think Kobe Bryant was an MVP because he won 65 games in the West. He did. Yes, he did. He did. Yes, he did. But I think that can I just say, year, can, can I just year say, that James had that year. I'm real, really quick, Damo. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Really quick. The year that James had that year, I don't think it's a question. I think it's very disingenuous. I think it's very crazy. And I think it's very, I, I don't even know what other word to use for it. it. Nasty work to sit here and look at both of these rosters for the Cavs and the Lakers. You look at that Cavs roster and you're trying to boost up all these players. Then on the same note, you look at that Lakers roster and try to downplay all those guys as if they were just role players. That's nasty. But again, my overall point was just, hey man, LeBron, LeBron just wasn't as good as Kobe, and LeBron was wasn't Lamar good Odom's enough. Career going down, hold on. Was Lamar, hold on, hold on. Was Lamar Odom's career going down at two before he played with Kobe? Yes or no? No, it was not. 
No, no, wait, 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 no, hold on, hold on. Let's stop it right here. Lamar and Delonte West are both drug addicts. I don't care. That's two mm. druggies on two different teams. They're both drug addicts. There you go. Oh, okay. They're both drug addicts. Okay. So okay. Addicts. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> If Mo Williams and Pau Gasol both 18 point per game scores, but Pau Gasol is definitely better than I Mo Williams. You. And there's no, not that many no, 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 no. Lamar wait, was 17 wait, wait, to 10 wait, wait. before coming to the There is not that many teams. I need you to name me the teams who had a number two good. option as good as Pau Gasol. Please. Please. What, in the NBA? Please. No, in the NBA, in that's time. Oh, oh, that's easy. Hold on. That's easy. Phoenix, For one, the Phoenix, Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns with Amar Stoudemire. That's one. One. I'm hold on. I'm keep going, Ron. What you, what you want me to stop for, Ron? Keep going. I'm, all right, I'm gonna keep going. I, 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 the, the Boston, hold on. The Boston Celtics with Kevin Garnett. It's two. two. Well, Paul Gasol was. Okay, I mean, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, hey, man. We probably, y'all, 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 y'all really want to do this with me, man? Y'all really want two. DJ drama with me? Two. Huh? Okay. The Houston Rockets with Yao Ming. Three, I guess. Okay. The in uh, 2009. Let's keep going. Yeah, in 2009, Chelsea Billups, man. Devin Nuggets and Chelsea Billups. In 2009, Yao Ming was my bad, 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 my that's all I'm doing, bro. How about that Orlando team that went to the NBA Finals? Hold on, chill, 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 chill, hold on, chill, hold on. Because that year, didn't Boston win 62 games a year? You already said Boston. You already said you Boston. Yeah, you okay, said okay, Boston. okay, okay, cool, cool. So how about, okay, the, cool, so no how about that Orlando so, team that went to the NBA Finals? They're number two. How about him? Okay, so Who's hold on. Two, so who's number two on that roster? No, 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 because what you call got hurt. So you can't really – he was all the got hurt. You can't really – you can't really count it. So, so let's you take can't really count it. So, it's so, so wait a minute. Let, let, let's just, let's let's take Jameer Nelson's injury off the table, and he's healthy. Is he better than Pau Gasol? What know. do you mean he's better than Pau Gasol? What kind of question is that? He's their number two. No, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying he was better than Pau Gasol. Yeah, I'm really okay. So also, I, hold, I, on. Let's, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So also at that time. Uh, you had so you had the that year you had the Lakers. You oh mm-hmm. the Spurs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, at that so time, was, was, I, so was Pal, so was Pal Gasol at that time. Uh, uh, so who's the number two on San Antonio? Who was the number one on is San either, Antonio? Is he the Tony? Is he the Tony Parker or Mano Ginobili? Okay, so was Pal Gasol was 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 in two thousand nine? Was he better than Pal Gasol, Mano Ginobili? Was he better than? Let me see. They won. What's they won fifty four that year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, chill. I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm yes, listening to you. Hold on, yeah, hold on. You. Yes, because Tim Duncan was the second best player on that team. Yes, because Tony Parker okay, led the so, team that year. So Tim Duncan and so Tim Duncan in two thousand nine. Well, hold on, hold on, on hold on. Come on, chill town, chill town. Hold on. That year they had you? that year. Hold on. That year Tony Parker averaged twenty two. Tim Duncan mm-hmm. averaged nineteen point three. So that either way you want to shake. Defense. Either hold on. Either way you want to shake it, I'll say one of those two at that time were better than Pau Gasol. The third three, one of those two. Three. There no, no, I'm saying one of those two. That, that's fine. That's oh, fine. Oh, we'll oh, say the Spurs. No, no, that's four. Hold on. That's four. That's four. That's what are you talking about? I said name three. I said name teams. You said Boston. I gave you four. You, you said Boston. You just said Boston, right? You didn't tell me Orlando, but you just said Bro, Boston. I said Phoenix first. I said, said Phoenix first. And Phoenix. No, no, you that, said those are the two teams you said. That's three. Phoenix, that's three teams. Boston. Right, 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 right. Oh, okay, so hold on. Let's be. Hold on. So oh, he, he said Yao too. I'm sorry. He said he said Yao too. He said Yao. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not. So that's hold on. Hold on. So let's keep. Hold on. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So let's keep going. I can't give him Yao. I'm sorry. Can't. You can Come on, bro. So okay. So then let's go to. I want to say we can go to. Uh, I can make an argument in um in New Orleans that Chris Paul was yeah. or David West was at that time because David West was David 21 West and was, almost 10. He was David not better than Pau Gasol. No, no, no. Chris Paul was better than Pau Gasol. David West was better than Pau Gasol. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold didn't we know about David West before he played with Chris Paul in Indiana Fool when he was balling? Yes. Look, David okay. West was good, yeah. but he was okay, not better than Pau Gasol. Okay, what's better than Pau Gasol? 
Well, shut up, then. He was an all-star. Shut up, then. Shut up, then. You lost that one then. David West. Hey, David West. David West. David West. Hey, David West, bro. Hey, Damo. I'm bugging what? Hey, Damo. Damo, Damo. David West. Hey, Damo. David West. Put it down. He was 21 and almost 9. I'm not putting it down, man. I'm not putting it down. Crazy, bro. I'm not about to let you lie. I'm not about to lie. You can lie to yourself. You're not about to lie to me. I'm okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep going in. Let's keep going in. Go ahead. Darren Williams. Darren Williams. On you. And they say, hold on, that's not true. They were saying they was arguing with Darren Williams. Darren Williams and Chris Paul was the best point guard. Wait, who was the number one in Utah? No, no, no. Carlos Boozer was the number one in that team. Chip down. Chip down. Carlos. No, Chip, don't do that. No, no, no. Chip down was the number one. Boozer was the number two. Boozer was the number two. Chip down. Carlos. Chip down. Come on, Chip. I'm on. Chip down. Come on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait. Come on. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Don't do that. I'm not finished. My case. Y'all niggas some haters, man. We're no, saying David was like Carlos Boozer was better than yeah, Powell. Yeah, hey, man, man, I didn't say that. Hold on. I said, hold on. I said, I said that most people at that at that time looked at the, that team as Carlos Boozer's team because when Carlos Boozer left the Cavs and went to the Jazz, he was the man. Okay, okay. I, I'm capping, right? I'm, okay, okay. Sure. I think you're okay, not true. Capping. Most people capping. were. If that's the case, most people were wrong. That's not true. Just, Fellas, I got to no read Super Tech. There's no way yeah. six, 16 and 10 was the number one option playing next to Darren Williams. What was Darren Williams putting up? 14 points? There's no way. Darren, there's no way. He was a double. Yeah, Darren Williams. Fellas, yeah. I got to read hey, Super hey, hey, Tech. Hold on, Rock. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. My battery about to die. This fool lying. Hold on. I'm changing my battery. 19 and 11. 19 and 11. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. Hey, Rock. This is why you need help when I'm whipping on one of them. All five of them try to gang up except for Bob. He didn't do nothing. I haven't said anything. Here's the victim mentality. Oh, my God. I'm getting Hey, I don't care what you say. I'll be honest with you. It's no, one we ain't jump. Wait, 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 jump. Wait, 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 wait. No, he wants. No, he lost his battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 y'all, nah, y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong yeah, for yeah. that. Trying to jump. Yeah, y'all out of pocket. Y'all didn't jump ticket off the show. You not jump ticket. Carlos Boozer, David West. What are we talking about? Nah, y'all out of pocket. Come on, man. I'll stand with you right now. Hey, chat. Chat. We do not condone bullying. Anybody out here that's watching it, we don't condone jumping anybody. We don't condone picking on people. You guys are ass wipes. But, but we got better people in the chat. I know you guys are better people. You guys are people with morals, people with character, day, people with standards. So I'm going to get off what these guys are talking about up here. And we're going to talk about what you guys are talking about. Also, if you haven't checked out the merch, go ahead and scan that QR code right there in the bottom of those corners down there. Um, But I have a super chat from Kenneth Jr. Kenneth Jr. said, Mars, have you ever called anyone a bail end? No. And the Trailblazers use 2K badges on their scouting report. So they should. Is that a, so. British, is that a British term, bell end? It's, I guess. I mean, it's, okay. it's not a melanated British term. It's more of a. Ah, interesting. Okay. What does it mean? It's like an N word equivalent. No, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. I bet he said not a. Yo, Jalen, what's up, bro? <laughs> no, I'm asking him. <laughs> asking just, just, not, I'm what? just saying. It sounded like it was some sort of slur of some sort. So I'm asking him. No, <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> He's not Yo, moving on. Coach is on this dub jump session. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I see what you're saying. If you uh -oh. thought it was an M word equivalent and then you said why it with we, that much why confidence. Why we always talking about <laughs> jumping this dude? Like, I don't know. There might be a problem. <laughs> if you thought it was an M word equivalent, but you proceeded to it's say crazy. it. crazy. Jalen, you might get... not know it, but you might be a little. Yeah, that might need to. That's be... crazy. You, you thought it might That's have been crazy. an M word equivalent. Well, the way he said it, yeah, it. and the way he said it, I'm like, is it some sort of racial term? So I just thought, you know, it was yeah. I'm gonna... And since when we, and since when we get on the logic of of jumping people, like if I say something crazy up here, y'all gonna get after me, all of y'all. Hey, last I mean, one of y'all. He's quiet when he said Tony Parker was bad and Tim Duncan. If I, I mean, say I something know. crazy, <laughs> Damo gonna look at me That's like. Crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna look at me crazy, and then I gotta explain myself. This ain't about jumping nobody. Is it crazy? Nah, what, what happened to nah. what happened to is that Ron Ron stopped saving tickets because there used to be a time there used to be a time when Ron would intervene Hell? and save tickets. You know what I'm saying? And now he kind of let up. You know, so I think he got tired of saving them. Ron started getting punched in the face for no reason. He got tired of it. <laughs> 
I don't know. Bro, crazy like, I'm, not, got, I'm not going. I'm not going to keep going to parties with you. We're going to keep starting fights, and we got to fight all the time. So, Ron, like, you know what? Mars is trying to save me. Mars is trying to save me. Hey, it's I almost the new year. I'm about to get back to my old ways. Me and Ticket mm-hmm. finna turn y'all up. Watch New this. Year OG. Yeah, yeah. New Year old old me. Yeah. Oh, oh. Get back to the Boss man said New Year new me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boss man said Mac not performing like Kobe versus Portland or Kobe in 2001 versus the Spurs, who had an 88 defensive rating and Kobe averaged 34. He killed Sack. Damn, Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, a twelve-time All Defensive All Defensive Team. How how Mac win with Shaq without defense? Bob, take the stand, little Bell Bell. Yeah, what what is it called, Mo? Yeah, little Bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, want me to bro want me to take the stand and all that? Man, I'm not finna respond. T Mac, no, T Mac's offensive skill set was just as good as Kobe's during that time. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It, I, I'm but, sorry, maybe Kobe was not like, no, it was like, 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 but the also fact was, guess what? T Mac was more explosive, T Mac was more athletic than Kobe, and Kobe at that time. I, yo, T Mac, I'm like, T Mac's explosiveness, T Mac was the number eight, up Kobe. number eight. I hear you, but T Mac, though, you saw what T Mac was doing coming into the late, like, T Mac was doing. I hear you, and look, I said, Kobe still a better, still a bit of a bit of a better shooter. That was noticeably better. I think T-Max explosive athleticism, ability to get to the rim. As a scorer, he was right there. Him and Kobe, right there. So scoring-wise, he's still dropping 40 on the Spurs. Defensively, I'm going to still give Kobe the edge. T-Max, again, could play defense, but not at the level of Kobe, which is fine. But t Mac still winning championships with Shaq. We got to stop that narrative like he not. T-Max is a snake, man. T-Max is a snake. I ain't trying to hear none of that. T-Max is a snake. They probably win. I don't know if they three people. He's a snake, man. Yeah, yeah, the three P. I'm not sure, but they win. They win one or two. I think they win one or two with T. But also, yeah, he wasn't. I mean, I'm not getting with the athleticism part. You know, bro, T Mac athleticism, man. Before I'm the, a, I respect T Mac. Nah, Jalen. If, if if that's the case, it's like it's very close. It's like yeah, yeah sure, like, yeah, sure, yeah. Very, you know, like like, and that my only thing is using using that as the as the argument is kind of like. I mean, it's, it's everything so close, ain't really. At, at that time, it was neck and neck with those two. Like at that time, the conversation was neck and neck. Like we were t- Kobe, Tracy. Like they were right there. It wasn't. I thought they were the two best. Two, I think they were the two best two guards in the league. In yeah, hundred percent. No, without a doubt. Vince should have been the conversation, but he took a step back. But all know, I know is T Mac. All I know is T Mac wasn't two. Mm. Yeah, he was like four. Yeah, just, wow. like, just, just like in 08 09, there's a conversation Ooh. that why you keep bringing it why you keep trying to bring this back up? <laughs> people, people no. That's crazy. <laughs> Dwayne Wade led the league in scoring, was a phenomenal passer playmaker that year. He was playing incredible defense. 08 09, there's a case that Dwayne Wade was better. So, how did he get worse by 2011? He went in that time, what got worse? His knees, Mars, the knees by 2011. You think his knees was like 2013, 14, 2011? Look. The way Dwayne Wade played, you know how reckless he played, always landing on his back, the way he was putting his body through torture. I think the the, the tear down of his body definitely happened. Why did he get worse? I, I don't think he necessarily. I don't think he necessarily got worse. Obviously, the numbers there, he was just okay, doing a so, lot more. So what you're saying is LeBron joined someone who's just as good as Kobe. Right, Look, cool. Dwayne Wade was a top three player in the world when he joined him. I'm not denying Yo, that. Yeah, that's, that's even that's even worse. Yeah, that's even Jalen Ox Mars. Yes. All I'm going to say is from 2005 to 2010. It was one person and one person only in that best player category. Mom. That's all I'm gonna say. Now we just lie. Any Parker? Now we just oh, lie. Duncan? Call off Carlos yeah. Bruiser. Call off mm. Bruiser. <laughs> Yo, that Carlos Bruiser take it so nasty, bro. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that Carlos Bruiser take I don't care what nobody is saying. That's why you need notes. That's why you need notes right there. Because you're going to be saying stuff like, nah, Carlos Bruiser was the one. The one? Wait, you no, that's, 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 you that's why you don't David pull up West the SAT. Indiana team? before um, New Orleans? You know respect <laughs> Indiana before New Orleans? I ignored it. I ignored it. I'm not saying that. I was so I'm confused. He had me like, questioning like, if, I was, if I was making things up in my no, life. No, he wasn't going pretty was not going crazy, boss. Damo hey. said that like that was a plate of food that he had. Like, yo, that shit was so nasty. Yo, do not eat this bro, again. No that was terrible. No, Damo, people, Damo that's, that's why you pull up to the SAT with notes? Bro, one, 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 one. Hey, hey, I don't want to toot my own horn, man. 1224 on my SAT. I ain't study. I ain't have a calculator, hmm. nothing. But that's just me. Hey, young gifted one right here. But I'm not going to lie. 15 what seconds is mean? all it took. 14. <laughs> you probably had a calculator, though. That's crazy. It didn't take me none. I was like, no. <laughs> no, that was yeah, see, crazy. See, see, I didn't have a calculator. 
but took me zero no, seconds. I'm like, no. It, it literally <laughs> took two seconds to look up a, a 12 24, my guy. Uh, it, it literally took me 15 seconds to look up Darren Williams, Carlos Boozer, 2009. There's no way you're saying Carlos Boozer. Was, they both average, <laughs> hey, both average double double. There's no way you're telling me Carlos Boozer was the one to Darren Williams, too, at that time. No. There's no way. Hey, I missed miss that part. <laughs> I missed that part. It was I heard Carlos Boozer no, no, is good. He just wasn't that guy. It was good, though. I like Carlos Boozer. I always like Carlos yeah. Boozer. Bit of a stat stuffer, but. We got to keep it pushing. Yurt, uh, Yurt sent through a super chat and said, I'm being serious when I say Bam got a top three pump fake in the league. That man had Jonathan Isaac jumping for joy all oh, last night. It doesn't matter. Be, yeah, be humble, man. <laughs> God, I did look so good. Be humble, be humble yeah. man. Be humble, man. Sir, when you got great, his regular great. twelve minutes, you know he ain't he ain't get to play any, anything. Let us get his feet under him. Yeah, so you know you got you got you got overexert yourself in those minutes. You're gonna jump on a few fakes because you know you got play with enough energy. So that's what it was. If he played twenty minutes, he ain't jumping on those fakes. I'm not mean. To Sauce man Sir, said, "Man and B don't get no excuses, dog. Uh, you love capping." Why do people use explanations as the word excuse? Not the same they thing. don't know Explain, what excuse is. Explaining why and something I'm, happens doesn't mean we're saying it's okay that it happens. Just explaining why it happens. That's, sauce that's man just be talking just, shit. That's all. Sauce, sauce man just be talking shit. That's like, explaining why something happens doesn't mean it's okay that it happens. But like, I've, I've never understood that line of thinking. I can understand why something happens without agreeing with the fact that it happened in the first place. They're, they're two different things, but I guess people... Uh, get that. MP13 said, to be fair, a small tear injury for someone who's like 300 pounds is pretty severe considering the amount of strain just to move the way he does. Fact. Big Ox just talked about that. Like when you're 6'8", six, six, when you're 6'9", it's, it's different than when you're 6'3". It's not the same. <laughs> Boy, these ain't meant to be moving like these NBA players do at that size. Facts. 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 Irda sent through a super chat and said, Josh slash Booker is a debate. We are going to have that. We are going. We are. We are gonna have to have a conversation if Jaw drags this team to the playoffs while Booker is struggling with Kevin Durant. You see what I mean? Why can't people coexist? Why do y'all? Yo, he hits one game winner now. Oh yeah, we gotta have this conversation. Let's talk Jaw about Jaw after ten games. Let's talk about Jaw after ten games. Like, not, let's not talk about Jaw. After, let's just keep <laughs> talking about Jaw when he's playing good, and also hmm. appreciate everybody who's playing good. Why can't there be multiple players playing good in the NBA at one time? Because it's always happened. Why? Because one guy starts to play good. Now this other guy has to come down because he's playing good. No, they can just coexist. It's possible. Yeah, but but Damo, since, in, since this is Days of Our Lives, you know, the NBA is General <laughs> Hospital. So, you know what I'm saying? Since that is the fact, then we have to compare him. Can we please stop acting like John Moran can get with Devin Booker, please? Can we just shut out Grayson I don't even want to I don't even want to act like John Moran can get with a, a guy like Tyrese, but I, that's Hey, I don't want to say that. I want to just uplift guys. I want to just talk ball yeah. and, and praise guys. And after tonight, like I was going to say it earlier, one of three things is going to happen. Ja's going to bust Tyrese's ass. Tyrese is going to bust Ja's ass. Or they're both going to go crazy how De'Aaron and Shea went and Nolan Void. Now, what I hope happens, hey, man, fan of option D, they both play like that. <laughs> and then we have <laughs> that's what I hope happens. No, but then one of them, one of them is gonna win the game. One of them is gonna mm. win the game. It's gonna be how they impact his win, and the other one didn't. So, hey, so, hey, I'm, so I'm gonna, gonna be, have a conversation. Basically, basically, it's gonna be a Desmond Bain Buddy Hill shootout, and just yeah, but it. it's gonna be. But whichever with, team wins, it's gonna be about that. how John Moran or Tyrese Halliburton got them great looks to make. That, so. Oh man, tomorrow's gonna be a fun episode. I can't wait. Mm. There's gonna be a gender push tomorrow, regardless. I can't wait. Uh, Lieben glued said Embiid couldn't Embiid couldn't score against Smart. Stop, man. Using clips off of one game or series, it's just it's, it ain't it, guys. Everyone's gonna have. To oh, it says the guy who judged Magic based on one game in nine eight five. Yeah, it's a couple. Hey, I, I watched some other finals guess. now. I guess. I guess. Watch some other well, finals now. I already spoke about um, the, the Embiid Marcus Smart thing. Me and Ox had a discussion. MP13 said, injuries aside, though, his lack of playmaking out of a double team this this far into his career was always something that concerned me. Hold on, me too. The coach. Nah, he, he still struggles with it. I still don't think he's a very good passer at all, but he's improving. Like, each year he improves. I still don't think he's very good, though. But if you have, oh, yeah, if he had a guy like Nick Nurse putting him in a good situation so he steadily improved, like, over the last couple of years, you don't think he would be in that? – that would have been something that helped him, though? 
Like this was an obvious. Well, go ahead. Yeah, I think it would help. Um, I think the incremental improvement I've seen from Brett Brown to Doc Rivers to Nick Nurse, I think, would have been accelerated with Nick Nurse there the whole time. Now, I don't, I don't think he'd ever be great, and I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna expect every big to pass like Jokic. You, you can't do that. But I don't think he'd ever be a great passer. I think he'd always just be a solid passer, and he'd always have some flaws in his vision. Like now, his pass, his pass would be going all over the place. He just he's being put in a better situation to benefit him so he doesn't have to make too many advanced reads. Now, that was a play yesterday. He got the ball um, free throw line. Kelly Oubre is standing in the dunker spot for four seconds. I, I kid you not. You'll find it. It's in the first quarter. Kelly Oubre is standing in the dunker spot like wide this open. for four seconds. Wide open. wide open. Doesn't receive the ball. Like, he, just runs up court. he just says after and runs up court. That's where I, That's a different play, Domo. In the same game, different oh, play. Whoa, Kelly Oubre is Kelly Oubre's yes. in the corner. Yeah, I know it's really your tomorrow. Kelly Oubre's in the corner ah, with his hands like this. And then Embiid, free throw line again. Jab, 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 pull up. He makes the shot, I think. But Kelly Oubre's yeah. already at half court by the time he shoots because he's not getting the ball. Those are the plays where I'm like, he's always going to have holes in his vision. He's not. He's going to be score first. He's going to look to score. He's not. He doesn't have that anticipation for who's going to be open. He's more reactive. And if he's looking to score, he's not really going to react unless like a double team comes his way. So he has to find the pass. He's always going to have that in his game. So I think those are like the slight concerns. He has this my this my thing. This my thing with with Marsh, and I'm gonna use a better passer for example. He's mm -hmm. not Mark Gasol. You know what I'm saying? He's not mm -hmm. Mark Gasol. So, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I don't expect him to be passing out of it. On top of that, he's a bully. I don't. I don't. Damn a double team. I'm talking about Dirk Nowitzki. Damn a double team. I don't care if you send two. You can send three. I'm getting a bucket. Joel Embiid needs to just go to work. Don't we shouldn't know if he's a good passer or not. Don't pass the ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't need when to know I said if this a, good when I said this about Giannis, y'all said it's a bad shot. That's remember what I said? Remember, I'm yeah, Giannis and Embiid are the same. Giannis and Embiid are the same. I'm going to tell you what Embiid is. I said Giannis in the paint. I said Giannis in the paint. I said any shot in the paint. We were talking about specifically to like those last minutes of the game, too. That's that We were talking about that, too. But I'm talking about Joel Embiid specifically. Joel Embiid, I don't, I don't need to know if you're a good passer. We shouldn't even have a conversation if you're a good passer. Get the ball on the block and, and go to that jump hook, bully somebody, dunk on him. I'm talking about Shaquille O'Neal type basketball. I don't give a damn if you can pass. I don't need you to pass. This, that's the problem with the NBA now. Oh, Jokic pass. I need you to be a good passer. I need you to be a good passer. Let him do all that passing shit. You get you get to work. Get busy down there on that block. Right. Foul or bucket. Get it on the ground. Foul or bucket. Ron, let's jump him because I don't agree. Yeah, I, I don't agree, so yeah, let's jump out. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> we got to jump him now because exactly. I don't like oh, it. Hold on, my, my mama called it. My mama called it. No, oh, 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 MP13 yeah. sent through yet another super chat and said, if the Clippers extend this win streak, we are going to have to have Kawhi MVP talks. This level of efficient scoring in above average defense is impressive. It's more than above average defense. He's playing borderline elite defense this year. Yes. That's what's moving me. I was talking about reputation defender Kawhi yeah. Leonard. Mm -hmm. He's playing defense this year. 1,000 yes, is playing defense this mm -hmm. year. That's what's moving me. The scoring in the half court, I don't think anyone doubts Kawhi Leonard in the half court. He, the game slows down, give Kawhi Leonard the ball. I don't understand how he can shoot a shot so flat and it goes in every time. But, hey, he does it. So, the scoring, didn't doubt. He started the season slow. Jalen was saying he's not a top 20 player. You're cooked, buddy. So, um, yeah, Kawhi Leonard. MVP talks. It's Ooh. possible. Yeah, no, it's see, MVP, that, that's too much. MVP talks, we got we to gotta slow it down a little bit. He, he won't win it because of Embiid and Giannis. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Wait, wait a minute, though. Exists. I mean, Embiid, Embiid exists. Yeah. It's it's just, just, it, Giannis, Giannis exists. Ka Kawhi is balling right now. Yeah, so is James Harden. So is Paul George when he's playing. James Harden has been hooping. Not like Leonard. Not like Leonard, though. Not like Leonard. I mean, look, Paul George has been phenomenal. Maybe not Leonard, but he's still been phenomenal. James Harden, he's really fine his role. He's not getting up phenomenal for his role. I just think they have too many other guys on that team who are playing really well. While I think Jokic, the carry job he's done with Jamal Murray was hurt in some senses. Bro, the carry job, they would lose it. I mean, he was still doing his thing. Jokic ain't Jokic fell off. 
Oh, the regression, <laughs> the shooting. Look, the, the shooting splits. And then Sanity run is over. He had three years. It's finished, man. Mm. Nah. Look at your Jaylen, all I'm saying is, alert. if Kawhi continues to play as good as he's playing right now, <laughs> obviously he's on a run. Uh, if the Clippers continue to win at the – it won't be at this rate, but if they continue to win, those conversations have to be had because he's leading that team. They're now the fourth seed in the West. And if they if they keep it up, it doesn't necessarily have to be at this rate, but if they keep winning – you you have to have the conversation. He's playing the way he's playing. Twenty nine. Oh Leonard is twenty. I think Leonard is twenty nine over the last almost ten games. I think he's mm -hmm. twenty nine, almost ten, shooting sixty percent from the floor. So and he looks like he looks like the Leonard at all. Unfortunately, Mars I can't forget about the last four years. You did clean yourself up. Yes, you did. You absolutely did it. You look great. I can't forget about the last four years. Though. Look, if the Clippers, if the Clippers end up being the, if the Clippers end up being the number one seed in the West based on MVP criteria, you look, then we can have a real conversation if they end up one, even the two seed. You hundred percent, we can have that conversation. Right. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see with that. Yep, man. Hey, Kawhi, go ahead and get that MVP, brother, so yeah. we can really have conversations. Yeah, for real, Kawhi. I know you're watching right now, Kawhi. <laughs> Keep it he up. doesn't have one. He can use one. All right, keeping it lit. Uh, Eddie Wilson. Said the next year he won almost 50 games and finished a game away from the Eastern Conference Finals. Anytime you lose a top five player, you are most likely going to take some steps back. She's the one, Nick Nuss and the Raptors. Yeah, yeah looks, like, looks like we could probably go and trade OG or or uh, or Siak. It was in a dog, and it was in a dog fight with that Celtic team in that series. Mm -hmm. That was a dog fight series. That it was. Who was it that hit that game winner? Was it OG and the Navy? OG, OG on a, basically yeah. on a yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Big three, big three. I remember Taco Poole was guarding the inbound from Kyle Lowry. I remember that. Uh, Kelly Thompson the second sent through a super chat and said, "Number one, Trey is the top is top four offensively." With <laughs> Luka, Don't roll the odds, Mars. <laughs> then said number two, Kobe is leading LA. Kobe, Kobe is Kobe leading LA to the finals from 08 to 2010. Underrated considering how tough the West was. He went seven games to the Rockets with our T Mac and Yao. I'm not moved. And we know too much Trey Young for today, man. Oh, Trey Young, man. You know, we don't rock with Trey. Trey, I've been hooping too, though. Shut up. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> been hooping. Oh. You I see Jabari Rockets. Smith last night, though? I thought Trey. Oh, yeah. right, that rebound is yeah, probably yeah, not mad at it. Yeah. Jabari was hooping. What's, your, what's, what your, about what's your issue with Trey lately? What's your issue with Trey lately, Mars? Huh? I don't know why he hit four point plays on my team and shit. Like, oh, okay, so that's what it is. All right, I can guess. It was yeah. against Houston. All right, I can get. I, I can get, get try hard and like grow okay. up, man. I can get it. I can get with that. It's against Houston, so sure. Yeah, no Saint Goon getting cooked on pick and roll. Uh, yeah. Was, Fred Van Vliet was balling too, but it's probably just because that the defense. Like Dylan that. Brooks taking thirty foot pull up threes. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Jalen Green can't make a shot. Oh, it was tragic, man. We made a comeback for no reason as well. I was. Uh, it was sad. I didn't even see that game. I'll be lying to you if I said. Oh, it was it was tragic. The summary: the Hawks come out, can't mm -hmm. miss a shot. Tragic. Mm -hmm. Then second quarter, third quarter rolls around. We start playing some defense. We get back in the game. We take the lead for a little while. We then go on a five minute stretch. We get outscored thirty to nine. So now oh. we're down eighteen. So now oh. we're down eighteen with five minutes to go. Then my team want to give me a little hope. Go on a fourteen zero run. Get us back in the game. Guess what? Dylan Brooks hits the three. Next possession, you know what he wants to do? Come up court, 30 foot pull up three. Misses bad. Oh, Tragic. Then the you gotta stop. Dylan Brooks makes a layup. I'm like, oh, we're in the game. Then guess what? Jalen Green wanna miss a corner three. Then oh, guess what? We up. can't defend a Trey Young pick and roll. All right. Sangoon didn't even close the game because he was getting cooked in the pick and roll all night. Man. Is Danville the second best player on that team? After Sangoon? Of course. Of okay. Course. I thought I think he's been a better sign than people expect. I think when they signed him, they're kind of like iffy with it. I think he's been. A lot better. Mars, did, did Fred uh outplay Trey last night? I didn't watch the game, but I did no, see he had no, what, no. 17 I'm assists. Gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. The Fred Van Vliet box score did <laughs> not look as good as the Fred Van Vliet play from my perspective. Jabari was hooping. Were you just being overcritical though? No, no, no. I think Fred was good. I think Fred was good. I'm not like because the team, I will say this the team fell apart when he went to the bench, fell apart. So he was obviously, he obviously played great. I just don't think he outplayed Trey. Trey Young is the reason Sengun couldn't play down the stretch of the game because that mm -hmm. pick and roll was destroying Sengun. That's like the first time this season where I think he's looked like the defensive liability he looked like last season. And maybe it's because that's maybe the best pick and roll play we've come up against other than maybe Dane. But Trey Young was destroying our defense. Then you got Clint Capello deciding he don't want to miss free throws and stuff. It was 
So those fifteen bad. assists were just like was just uh like uh, I mean Fred and Blitz assists never really like I don't want to say move the needle for me, but they don't really move the needle for me in general. It was a Jabari so, Smith was cooking. Jabari was cooking, so a lot of those assists. Went yeah, Jabari was cooking. Jabari, Jabari was cooking. Um, Jalen Green came out aggressive. Didn't want to make anything, but he came out aggressive. I guess that's progress. Because sometimes Van Vliet has these crazy assist numbers. I'm just like, how did he hit that total? A lot of it is pick and roll, Sangoon short roll, little floater that he does like that. Or he'll make the skip pass, which is nice. We'll make the corner three. Sometimes just extra passes close out from yeah. Sengun on corner three. So it's, his assists aren't like crazy to me, but yeah. he provides great value to our team. And this is probably one of the more efficient scoring nights he had. And down the stretch of games, I always like having Fred in the game. Apart from that Denver game where we nearly blew the lead other than that game. He's he's been he's been good for us. But mm. Sengun, Sengun's been dropping a little bit the last like three, four games. So I need him to step it back up. I need Jalen Green to stop being a terrorist. Dylan Brooks, don't take pull-up threes from 30 feet, please. Jabari, this is what we need to see. Fred Van Vliet, keep doing your thing. People have been letting Fred Van Vliet's inefficiency slide, by the way. But it's cool. He's That's why you here, Mark, because you're a Houston guy, so you can bring that up. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he, he's, not, he's never been much of an efficient scorer, but people are just letting the fact that he's still very inefficient slide. Which, I mean, it's fine because I don't think he's there to be a scorer. He's there to close games for us and be a playmaker, so... I'm not too mad at him. I think he's leading the league in minutes per game because we really look bad when he's not on the floor because we don't have any other playmaker on, like, perimeter playmaker because yeah. Jalen Green's not ready for that yet. Amen Thompson can't do it. Um, Aaron Holiday's not a playmaker, so Fred Van Vliet's very valuable, but I would like him to score the ball a little bit better. Just like Mars calls out, that just like when I told you about nobody talked about Jaron Jackson not rebounding. That's your job, Mars. If, if 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 Fred Van Fleet is 38%, not on the long ball, but in the mid-range or in just as a whole, we need to talk about that. What's the shot selection looking like? Because that, that team should be better offensively than what it is. And Jabari Smith, I'm a, I, I was a big fan of Jabari Smith coming out of college. I, I, I still dig him. Mars, you already apologized about his game. And I see what yeah, I – Yeah, four blocks. I, oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I definitely going to – I think at some point he's going to be an all-league defender. I do. Oh, I think for, sure, some, for sure, for sure. I think at some point he's going to be an all league defender. So he's been playing um, on defense. Y'all making progress though. Houston is making progress. This is this is the same team Mars is at at the bottom of the Western Conference. You're actually competing for a playoff spot this year. Yeah, we so, could have still been. We could have been like Detroit again. Right. <laughs> Look at that. Because I'm looking at this schedule, and to be honest with you, I still don't see where the win comes. <laughs> where does the win come? Tell, I'm because. I mean, don't get me wrong. Maybe Utah, because Utah lost last night to Cleveland. No Donovan Mitchell, no Evan Mobley. So they well, lose Cleveland's last night. have been hooping without Donovan Mitchell and not without um, Darius Garland and, and Evan Mobley. And, they and beat Evan us. Mobley. Yes, they yes, been, they yeah, did. they've been hooping. They, they won the last four, and they last they won their last four in a row. And that, Donovan Mitchell just missed last night. He's played in the in the previous games, but they've been they've been rolling. They've been rolling. But Utah is the only team that I'm thinking about when I'm looking at Detroit. I don't think they beat in Brooklyn. I don't think they beat in Boston. They might be. Able, they might lose thirty games in a row. That's crazy. Yeah, be wild. They might well, win the game. Uh, we definitely gonna keep the tally going, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep a close eye on what uh, Detroit's doing, even if it hurts our eyes. Um, somebody's not up here, so I guess I could read this super chat from some guy called Zen Master. Uh, he said Halliburton is the only Pacer starter above zero BPM. If you care about box plus minus, then sure, I guess. Thank you for schooling us in, Master. You've been doing a lot of that over this last two, three weeks. Uh, Winter sent through a super chat and said, Damo, why did Caruso do Cam like that? Also, how do y'all feel about D'Lo having two points? D'Lo going through a slump. D'Lo's well. definitely in a slump. He, he, he might be the guy that they end up trading to get a piece the way he's playing. D'Lo's almost certainly going to be in that trade pack. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's staying for much longer, but he in a slump. He didn't just forget how to play basketball. It, it happens sometimes. Sorry, it's unfortunate. Uh, it was some gifted players' choice memberships from none other than Donovan Samuels. He gifted 20 players' choice memberships. So salute to all of those who got that 20. But then there was another 20 gifted by none other than the infamous cheese. So shout out to everybody that got 20 of those memberships. And then Ladarius followed up both of those good fellas, and he gifted. 10 players choice memberships that's 50 players choice memberships that have been gifted today um if you got a membership go ahead and like comment and subscribe but be sure to subscribe if you were gifted a membership uh shout out to those three 
uh dishing out memberships y'all y'all looking like you know john stockton right now magic johnson all, all those good guys uh luis sanchez said tickets sound mad because mars cooked them yesterday well, he's back with that today. So. Barbies and drillers. <laughs> uh, MP13. Yesterday was a good episode, too. If you missed it after this, go ahead and check yesterday's episode. MP13 said, without CP3, before Kawhi, Doc finished 10th and 8th in the West. So Doc didn't do anything exceptional without a top 10, without, without top 10 players and comparable teams. I mean, not a lot of coaches do well without top 10 players or have super elite teams that make deep runs in the playoffs without a top 10 player. But Chris Paul's impact on winning is elite all time, too. He has zero rings. Mm. I cooked you. Culture like Thunder just dished out 10 players' choice memberships. Shout out to Culture. Appreciate you, player. MP13 with yet another super chat said, Ox needs to respect Kobe's 0-1 defense. I can't think of other shooting guards that could have replicated that as well as the elite shot creation. As good as you are as a shot creator, if you're not converting it, it doesn't make a difference how good it looked to get the shot off. So mm. Kobe was hitting it. Oh, but he was, though. He was fantastic. In 2001, I mean, he, he was great. He was fantastic. That that I told Shaq that's the best team that I think he's he was on that 2000 2001 team. I think that was the best team he was ever on. Nobody was nobody was touching them. 2001. You put Vince yeah, Carter no, on the team. They yeah. doing the same thing too. Vince Carter was hooping. Yeah, Vince Carter who couldn't hit that shot against the Sixers. Mm. Hey, uh, it's one shot, man. But he was Vince Carter was hooping that year. Oh. From three. Why, 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 why do we talk? Why do we talk like that team was just a, a well-oiled machine? And if you just take the second main guy off the crew, if you take the second main guy off the crew, then and and add somebody. Vince Carter was not. Vince Carter was not. Vince Carter was, to, Vince Carter was, was not, twenty-seven a night. Forty. Even if that's true, three, even if that's true, and, and just like Carmelo, an, just like Carmelo Anthony was twenty-five a game, he wasn't close to James. So what if Carmelo did that, Vince Carter just, like, just, 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 just like what did he do different? Mm -hmm, make, yeah, other make, other make, defensively, make offensively, there was sense. nothing Kobe did that Vince Carter couldn't do. Too Kobe makes that shot. Kobe makes that stop shot. Stop it. Stop. That's one shot. Stop and it. Vince had and everything. Wait, chill, chill, wait, chill, chill. What? What? When? When are we talking about that? I, I I can't let that slide. The 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 LeBron and Carmelo. But I'm, 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 the, point that, the point the, the point that I was making was he brought up him averaging twenty seven a game. The fact that 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 Carmelo is averaging twenty five a game is he the same as James? If I mean, he's averaging twenty six yeah, a game, is, is, he, is, is he the Even same the as James? Though, so the fact Vince. that so so right, I understand that. But the but the idea that because Vince Carter is averaging twenty seven a game, you can't just take him out of the, you can't just take Brian out of that lineup and put Vince Carter, and they're going to continue to roll. First of all, the triangle offense is a lot different than any other offense that Vince Carter was in. Number two, that defense that they played as a unit, Bryant was a huge part of that. We're talking about an all-league defender. You lose that now with, with, with Vince Carter on the team and Bryant not on the team. They're not just going to continue just roll just because just because Vince Carter can average 27 a game. No, that's not happening. There's a, few, what, there's, a few guys, there's a few guys you can take off of those Lakers team and put, and put Kobe on and they still win a championship. I, it's not, I it's agree. Not, it's not a knock to Kobe Bryant. That's just yeah. It's not really, he's really big enough to great. kill O'Neal. I was just about, about to say that, Bob. Right, I think right. like Kobe. I don't want to. It's gonna sound weird by saying Kobe slowed down Shaq, but I think Shaq could have did more. I think, That's a fact. I think Shaq, 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 Shaq had the capacity to to get to to take a. Come on, think about it. Shaq averaged thirty with Kobe averaging thirty. Kobe's not there. I think Shaq can average thirty four or maybe thirty five. I, I don't think that's crazy to say. So I think I've like seen, if, I, if I've seen Shaq ridiculously dominant, I have seen that. It, you, but, you see what I'm saying? So and, and I, I keep in mind, you, and chill. You remember it. during that time, Shaq was saying, or the the what was what, the the storyline was that Kobe was a ball hawk and he needed to give the ball to Shaq more, and he uh he needed to 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 chill out. He needed a you you remember it was his teammates saying that it was Phil Jackson saying that. Remember you, you guys know the 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 story when Kobe hit the one shot against the Pacers. He was telling his teammates to chill. I got this because Phil Jackson was literally yelling at him to come off the ball. So Kobe, Kobe did more than he was supposed to do. It was actually supposed to be Shaq's shoulder in the load. And Kobe said, no, I'm Kobe Bryant. But Shaq could have did more. Yo, I, Iverson, Iverson and Shaq, Iverson and Shaq win three, maybe four. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Iverson and Shaq don't lose to the Pistons. I mean, the Pistons want to definitely on Kobe. I mean, again, <laughs> take nothing away from Kobe. Take nothing All right, away from Kobe. 
10 top five I'm not. I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying Shaq don't lose to the Pistons, bro. Why not? I don't know. I don't because know if Iverson, Iverson was better than Kobe. I don't know if Iverson is. They beat don't the even Spurs, beat the Spurs in the second. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know if Iverson beat the Spurs though. Like Iverson's game with, with Shaq. I don't know if I. Yo, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq winning. Shaq's winning rings with Iverson. Shaq's winning rings with T Mac. Shaq's winning rings with Vince Carter. Shaq's winning rings with Paul Pierce. Oh, Shaq's winning rings with D Wet. Well, D, I mean D Wet when he gets there, he wasn't there yet. But you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, come on, bro. Shaq winning rings with all them. Now, I understand the Shaq thing. You don't know for sure. I said because he was Shaq, he could win with a lot of players. I just don't know when they're winning three or four. That's not a knock to Kobe Bryant. Yeah, I don't not know. A knock to Kobe. I know. I know, like Kobe. I know it's a lot of sensitive dudes out here. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like it is. Like, we it, it's it's you plenty know, of it's, them. It's, it's plenty of them. If you don't have him, if, if you don't have him up here, then it then it's something completely different. It's, hey, it's, I know it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of sensitive dudes out there. But Shaq was the man, and Shaq could Shaq could have won rings with all them dudes. Bro. Yo, I know Shaq, or I know um. Kobe isn't Jamal Murray, and I'm not comparing Kobe to Jamal Murray, but it's it's similar. In, it's a similar situation. I'm saying, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 no, hold on, hold on. You don't even know where I'm going with this. You don't even know where I'm going with this. You, you have no clue where I'm going with this. I'm saying, Please, not a clue at all. I'm, I'm saying, saying Jokic that, could win with a lot of elite guards. That's what he's no, doing. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm saying that the guards that are on Jamal Murray's tier, Jokic can win rings with those guys too. That's that's, that's the point that I'm making. So if, if you even, take, if, 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 take Jamal Murray, take Jamal Murray off that unit and put De'Aaron Fox on that unit, they still win it. I, I think I think De'Aaron Fox is the tier above Jamal Murray, so mm, I would right. say obviously. At but least, I'm saying even if, if, so if you put Jalen Brunson on that unit, they yes. still win it. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I don't think Jalen yeah. Brunson is the tough shot. After, 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 but, the the I'm, way Jalen Brunson was was carrying the Knicks in the playoffs. Yeah, last I mean, year? Brunson was hooping in the playoffs. I mean, Jamal, but Jamal, Jamal, Jamal's better. Jamal's better than uh, than Jalen Brunson. I think. I mean, Jamal Murray just got an opportunity to showcase it in bigger moments because he was able to get further in the playoffs because of Jokic. But I think Jalen Brunson could do the same thing or similar things to what Jamal Murray did. Even though Jamal Murray's elevation was crazy, Jalen Brunson did elevate in the playoffs too. Excuse me. But all right, y'all. Uh, keeping it lit. John Wick one game said Mahomes was in a goat convo after his first Super Bowl. L- LB's guys keep getting compared to LT, and CMC has been compared to Marshall Falk since 2018. That's the I just feel like, and, and, and Mars, you made a really good point, but I, I I just think that when you're talking about competition, immediately that comes up because that's what this is. It's competition. Well, when you see a guy as good as he is, that's normally what happens. Like, was he better than this dude? That that's I think that's what a competition. After is. one Super Bowl run is crazy. I understand that you can oh, say he's, mo- he's the most talented. Yeah, he's, he's the best ever. You could say he's the most talented guy you've seen. The eye test wise, I could you know I could get with that logic in a sense. But saying he's a good already after one Super Bowl guy, guys, it's not just Tom Brady. Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, John Elway. He be- he all these guys him. exist. He be- he's not better than Peyton Manning. Thank, hey, not bad. Hey, Peyton thank Manning. God for Travis. Thank God for Travis Kelsey. <laughs> And we see what we see what Magic Mahomes looks like without well, when Tyreek Hill isn't there when when these receivers aren't catching everything. So see, look, now we're being negative thank, again. See, thank God for Travis Kelsey. That's all I'm gonna say. Kyrie the Goat, 1629, said, Can we please put respect on Trey? Now they tried to say Halley was better because of his insanity run. We don't put respect on Trey. No, we good. <laughs> Mars, take that bias hat right. off. And and, and, no, and just that hat is off. firmly screwed on my head. No. <laughs> If you don't want it, Mars, I'll take it because we ain't putting no respect on Trey Young today. Uh, today. No yeah, respect no, on Trey. Hey, hey, 30, 30, 30 and 14 don't feel Trey, good. Trey, Trey, Trey Young in the same tier as Darren Fox, Ox. He in the same tier as Darren Fox. Trey Young in the same tier as Killian Hayes, man. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> That's because he roasted his boys. That's why he feel like that, Mars. Yeah, bomb. Uh, whoa. RJ the God said, if older players had the social media and technology of today, everything they said and did would be seen and they would be viewed differently. I'm on record saying that these dudes, it's plenty of dudes that back then, that survived back then, would not survive today. Can, can you imagine them. social media during the cocaine era of the NBA? Mm, oh, never. Man. Bro, never. come on now. Everyone's getting but if, there was, if there was social media back in the day, bro, some of us wouldn't even be here. Bro. Like, Facts. Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter said, quote, Jalen, he said, if we had cameras like we have today, he said he would have been out the league in three years. He said that. Oh, you know, Derek, 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 Derek Jeter Foster. He was foul as hell. In the era? Oh, he's a misogynist. He hates, oh, man, it's, come on. Derek was wow as hell. He said that. So, he did say that. You shut up, James. 
It's all it's it's hey James B. <laughs> yeah, you shut up. Anyway, a sports sock, recap. Man. Sports recap recap said, I think the expectations on young players to be great is too high in the NBA. Not every player is going to be Mike and Kobe. No. 100%. I mean, they're all time greats for a reason. Not every hype you guy. You're expecting 23 year olds to go make the finals and win rings. Mm. It makes no sense. And I don't think that's fair to do that, yo, because we ain't had that expectation for them. It was a process. It was at 20, when Jordan showed up Respect at in 19, in, and Jordan showed up in 1984, there was no way. That I was thinking that, yo, this dude is winning the NBA championship next year. No, I wasn't thinking that. I wasn't because the league was, it was a big man league. It was a bunch of players that were superior and it was going to take some time. And teams got built during that time. There was no way that I was thinking that, yo, Jordan's winning the NBA championship. So if he had got to the NBA finals in 87 with that Chicago Bulls team, I would not have been looking at Jordan going, yo, he beating that Chicago, he beating that Boston Celtic team. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Hakeem did it. Well, it didn't beat them, but Hakeem went to the finals. With Ralph Sampson. Um, yeah, 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 semantics. Yeah, 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 semantics. He got to the finals. Go to the finals. The Green Maury Sports said most basketball topic talk is hypothetical hating. It does it does become toxic. Very toxic. That hypothetical does. hating. Hmm. Uh super duper DB GOAT. Super duper DB goat said ticket. I think Memphis, I think that Memphis take will end up being a good one. Josh Stardom really improves that team. Also, give me O2 T Mac over O2 Bean. Mm. Not mad at it. Like it's a conversation to be had. Yeah, but mm. you hate Kobe, Jalen. I have Kobe literally fifth what, fifth or sixth all time. And I hate Kobe. Yeah, but, I yeah, literally but have him fifth or sixth all time. If you did, if you didn't crazy. hate him, you'd have him top three. So you hate him. This is crazy. Uh. Shout out Shaq number three. I got Shaq at three. I'm a, I'm a yeah, you got shock of a Kobe. Yeah, and to the dude yeah. in the chat, really quickly, yo, because I don't like shouting out people. To the dude in the chat, every time you bring up 2011, I raise you 2011 and I give you 2004. Don't get me on you about mm. what Kobe Bryant looked like in the 2004 NBA Finals, because I will destroy you with that. Destroy you. So every time you bring up 2011, I raise you 2011 and I give you 2004. So laugh at that now. Laugh at that. I've been with never when I like that. Laugh at that. Uh, Lieben Glued said, "Make me sick, yo." Lieben Glued said, "T Mac and Shaq would have won three, yep. or would have would have won more than three. Mm, they yeah. never would have gone beat. Mm. Yeah, I, was, I, I don't. They would have lost about four. Yeah, T Mac, T Mac's ego wasn't quite that. Kobe, had, you know, the ego thing was definitely there a little more so. Liam McLean said, "Happy B Day basketball. 132 <laughs> years ago today." Mars, just so you know, I was born 10 years before that, so... I'm, yeah, I was going to say, so, like, yeah. how was it, like, when it first got introduced? Yeah, was, it, 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 was, it was a crazy time, Mars, you know, mm. uh, black and white film and, you know, Dr. Naismith meeting him for the first time. Mm. It was kind of dope, yo. It was. Well, that's what I say, basketball created by yeah. a Canadian, yes, good old Canada. Me, meeting Dr. Naismith say, for the first we, time, so, you know, when, it. When, when, when he showed me this peach basket, I was like, what is that? What do you plan on doing with that? So, it was dope. Basketball's yeah. Canadian, chat. Remember that it's mm -hmm. Canadian. The great Canadian invented the great game. Yep. Hey, uh, you would think you, you would think I'll be better at it. Uh, most of us. Uh, 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 hold, hold on, Jalen. To the dude in the chat, just so you know, not only did your man have an eight-point game in the NBA Finals, not only did your man have an eight-point game in the NBA Finals, it was the second worst loss in an NBA Finals game in Laker history. They got blown out by thirty-three in that game. That he had eight yeah. points. I just want to put that on your mind. So, so once again, when you tell me 2011, I see your 2011, and I raise you 2004. I ain't even raised you the other ones. So remember who you're talking to, B. Just remember. Mm. Uh, shout out to Mars family that's tapping in. I don't know how many of his family members are tapping in, but I know one is tapping in, and um, their name is Earth, mm. aka Mars cousin, with the super chat and said, "What's the PC starting five? In your prime, and could you beat a current NBA team? And if not, any NBA team from any era. <laughs> I mean, y'all the hoopers. Y'all can hoop. Are you beating NBA team? Probably not. You don't think, think they could beat Bopan? Who you gonna have Ron? Uh, you gonna have Ron, Ox, Chilltown, Ticket, and you put Shaq there. So that'd be your five. Yeah, Shaq. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll probably, be six men. We start, we start, oh, yeah, so start, start Dale. Start Dale. Start Dale. Off the bench. 
team. Be the NBA team? So I just don't even make the roster. Right? Cool. Me neither. I, I can't give us not today. Nah. My, my, no, it's in your prime. It's in your prime. prime. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm right. might, yeah. I might be coming okay. off the bench. It might be. I haven't hit my prime yet. That's why I haven't hit my I'm starting in front of Ron. I'm going to play the Eddie House role, the Leon Poe. I'm starting in front of Ron. The difference is, chill, y'all going to need me because I'm the best passer here in PC. Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't know about Mars Stockton, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about me. It's, it's, it's well. I haven't hit my prime yet, so that's why I accept not being on the team. But I don't have my prime. You'll, you'll see me in the 2029 NBA draft. You like that? I'm working I'm on you. I'm trying to tell you when, when, when Shaq and Dell finally stop ducking this two on two, y'all, y'all gonna find out. Y'all never actually mm. played two on two before. We never they ducking, they ducking, they ducking John. Mm. Shaq somewhere in uh I don't know, Russia hiding and Dale is mm. in Delaware or wherever he's at, Maine, mm. Spain. I don't know. But uh Nick Tristay mm-hmm. said Bronny not dropping that far. Bron is on record saying he's going where his son is drafted. Bronny going top 10. You gonna see. And he Bron- was, Bron was on record saying he'll do the dunk contest and then they ain't do it. Never did. So, I almost so I was going to Dallas. You're lying. Yes. Yeah, you're lying. So I remember that he said the year before on camera he's gonna do it next year and just didn't do it. Yeah, so you know I like Bron don't just be lying for no reason. Hey, your highness, just so you know, the Dallas Mavericks had a top ten defense that year. Oh, yeah, yeah, they the cooking y'all chat. No, the, Mavericks were, the Mavericks were an elite defense. I don't yeah, know. they had a top ten defense. You know about, you know about Tyler, they were not it, it wasn't like it was just Dirk mm. Nowitzki. No, they had a top ten defense that year. So just now they weren't. They weren't the 04 Pistons, but they were. They were not. But they had a top ten defense that year. Just so you know, talk about it. Clark Lagarde or Lagarde said, is Maxi a top five guard and an all-star starter if he helps the Sixers to be a top seed in the East and keeps up his stats throughout the season? No, Aren't, they, aren't they a top seed in the East right now? Yep. I mean, I what, what he's are they for? He's not. It's Tyrese and Trey. Tyrese. Yeah, yeah Tyrese. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so he's not going to. Yeah, he won't start. So, and he's not a top five guard because he's not better than mm-hmm. Tyrese or Trey Young. I still think Dallas. He, might, he game. might. I don't know if he's starting All Star game. I don't know, but he's not a top yeah. five guard. He's yeah, not. I know that. No one said that, sir. Yeah, no they're elite. That. Literally, no one said that. But that, I mean, sending two dollars for something no one said. I mean, thank you, brother. Nice. If you send more, I'll say it though. <laughs> <laughs> Pip named Slickback said Kobe averaged thirty three seven and seven against the Spurs and provided elite defense. Huge Vince Carter fan. He's not doing that. Only Kobe is doing that. Stop it, guys. I mean, look, that, that Sixers team, that Sixers team was elite defense. Vince dropped a 50-point game and a 40-point game, I believe, that series. I want to go, go bring up Vince. And then what happens with game seven? Man, series you keep on the reminding line. me, man. You keep reminding me. I don't want to This is the thing that people don't understand about basketball. If if Chilltown's on the team, and it, for instance, if, if Chill's on the team, and he averages whatever he averages, but let's say Chill goes out and I I come in for Chill. Mm-hmm. Not only do we not play the exact same position, but our stats don't have to match in order for us to still win. Mm-hmm. He can come on, he can come on the team. He don't got to he don't got to average 38, 10 and 10 or whatever you said Kobe average. He don't got to do that. They can still win. Facts. That's bad yeah. boys. It's, yeah. it's bad Vince, Vince averaged 36 and 5 with Antonio Davis as a second leading scorer. Antonio hey, Davis. Kobe Davis. One was that one was that you're gonna score more points when you have left pieces around you because you Come on, man. Look at that team. defensive attention that. Uh, Jalen, there's more. There's more. There's more, than, there's more than one way to eat chitlins. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. Know? you. I feel you. Is it? Oh, and just don't eat it's, them at all. Yeah, don't eat them at all. It's more. It's more than one fruit. thing to eat but chitlins. Um, Al Booger. Gifted five players choice memberships. Shout out to the five hey. people that got those players choice memberships. Y'all need to uh show Al Booger some love. Shout them out in the chat or something, but appreciate you, Al Booger. Uh DSG Piccolo said at least five players are confirmed out tonight for the Jazz. Is tonight finally the night that we see the Pistons break? Oh, maybe this no. might be oh. it. No, see, now it's no, gonna Danny. be more embarrassing when they leave. Yeah, look, say, oh. okay. Who's sitting out? Danny Ainge Danny, Danny, Danny is in cahoots. It's crazy. <laughs> Yo, let it. Uh, we're we gonna give you one tonight. We're gonna yo, get the you league, up. The league made the call. League made the call to yeah. Danny. You know what? We can't this, have this. This ain't good, this ain't good for the league, yo. We gotta get you up tonight. Home. You know, yeah, respecting the two and 25 Detroit Pistons, we don't think they're a good team. Mm. They still in the playoff race. They ain't out of it yet. What's the worst record? What's the worst record of all time? Was the Bobcats during the season? Yeah, no, the, the, the Bobcats have the worst team. winning percentage, but they didn't do a full Philadelphia season. Philadelphia 76ers and 76ers in a full season with 10 and 72. 
nine, Mars. Oh, whoops. Nine to 70, nine games. Nine to 73, then? Yes, sir. He's pissed. trying to piss his might not win six games. Six. Oh my I mean, god. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Garbage. I'm counting. I'm counting Man. single digit losses as Piston wins now. Mm. If they lose by less than ten. I'm giving them a win. So they <laughs> beat the Hawks. They only lost by six. They get a handicap. Yeah. So they'll have the worst team if the, if they end up not winning ten games this year. If they end up winning less than nine games, so they'll have the worst team in NFL history and the worst team in NBA history. Detroit will have that on their record. Oh, Damn. tough, tough. That's tough for Detroit. Damn, James B. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> and what they do water and Flint. Sorry. Of course. I'm just pointing out the struggles in, in, in Michigan. I'm just pointing, I'm just pointing yeah. out the struggles in Michigan. That's all I'm doing. Yo, but, what the losing but they are going to win a national championship. The Michigan Wolverines are going to win a national championship. That is going to happen. Michigan? Winning, winning, winning less games <laughs> in the NFL team is ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, the Lions, Lions, the Lions, it, can, can the Lions win more games than the, than the Pistons this year? It's, it's no way. It's not. Yeah, Detroit, Detroit's kind of, it's kind of a rough city. All that losing with the Lions, wasting it's Calvin Johnson, Barry possible. Sanders, all, all the jobs being lost, the whole auto industry leaving them, crime rate is wow, up. Detroit no, just yeah, terrible. Y'all, y'all are, really Why <laughs> are we thrashing the state of Michigan like this right it, now? It's bad. It's bad. Jalen, you're just saying that because they're under uh under Canada. Bro, does Flint even have clean water yet? What's going on? Do they got clean water yet? No, come on. Michigan clear. really come on, man. Michigan really I, down bad. I, I'm every, just, every, I'm, every, I'm, every, I'm just every piston. I do not piston what the, the, piston the thoughts piston. of Jalen Johnson. The, the thoughts of Jalen Johnson does not the thoughts of Jalen does not reflect all of us up here. I'm just talking about the Detroit Pistons. That's it. it. Reflects you. Know, me, me and Jalen on the same page. Me and Jalen on the same page. I ain't right. talking about nothing else except the Detroit problems, Pistons, man. which I don't even want to hey. talk about. I only want to hey. talk about. It. Keep keep in mind, these are two foreign international guys. They have no clue what's going mm. on here in America. We mm. will stand together. We will rise. Detroit, we do stand with you guys. Okay. And Everyone Seattle has clean water. Everyone water. Everyone I don't know about Detroit, but stand with Flynn. I don't know about Detroit, but right. Everyone, everyone wants to stand with him, but then when it comes to actually, man, no one trying to provide to water, him, right? Crazy. No one wants to. Oh, uh, let me stand from. Let me stand right? with him from a distance. I ain't giving right? up my water though. Back, okay. yo, yo, James, I got you. You need some water, I got you. I, I, I ship you. Let me water. drink some water. That's messed up. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, but we just we just came out of a drought in California. We don't got no water to spare, so you know. Don't even rain down there, y'all. So sorry, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, we got to get up out of here, but appreciate everybody for tuning in. Tomorrow we will probably talk most likely about Ja versus Halley. Right when the show starts, so y'all be prepared for that. Um, we once again we don't condone bullying. Ticket. I hope everything's all right. I'm gonna call you in a second. Uh, and that's that. Later. Tis the season, y'all. Go tell that person you love, you love them. Go find true love. You tell know, those people is. you love them. You know what I'm saying? Tell those people you love them. Let's, let's go. go let's tell go the love people you love, you love them. You never Before know what's happening. Go tell them. All your mother.